All right, all right, all right, everybody. So here we are with RimWorld with the anomaly update. I know you might be saying to yourself, you should plan the anomaly start. I've looked into it and so from what I understand, they actually kind of screwed this up and it says it's a difficult scenario and is not recommended for new players, but we, well me, not even being that good, um, I think this start is actually easier than a regular difficulty. The only difficulty seems to be, um, whether or not you can, uh, like deal with the anomalies early on, but the anomalies early on are really not that bad. Um, some of them can be annoying and if you're doing a commitment road, commitment mode run, you can kind of like take some bad early losses. But overall, I don't really think it's, I think the normal start and then just going into cultists is probably more interesting. So I'm gonna turn off Mechanoid Hive because I feel like at this point, Mechanoid Hive is just horribly, 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 horribly designed. Uh, I don't really have a better way to put it. Uh, I, I think in all honesty, Mechanoids should be disabled by default at this point in time. And uh, yeah, I, I really think they're just horribly designed for the current game. The wealth system is just not designed well for mechanoids and it just i promise you if you've ever played this game and you've been destroyed by mechanoids just disable them like the well system is not properly designed anymore with all the dlc with all the additional content uh it just makes no sense and everyone that's halfway decent at the game just min maxes their wealth anyway to avoid mechanoids and i'm not gonna do a whole anti-mechanoid rant here but i i just think at this point, with with everyone trying to avoid mechanoids anyway, and you know, the, the game shouldn't be balanced around keeping your wealth low so mechanoids don't spawn, and then new players just being noob trapped into dying to mechanoids. It's just bad. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do Furious Neanderthals and Yetkin Pirates to try to, um, Yetkin Pirates, no, we will do Savage and Bit. Here's what we'll add these two, Fear of Standerthals are actually, uh, pretty brutal, I won't lie. Um, this is a Yitkins, and what do Yitkins do? I don't know, just them. I think those ones are the, uh, are those the Space Chewbacca's? I don't know. And we're gonna do this, just a normal, normal run here. Nothing special, just disable mechanoids. In my opinion, makes the game better, so I'm gonna just do that. <coughs> oh, sorry. Let's see, what do we want here? Um, you know, I always go for marble, but I'm gonna be honest. I always go for marble, but I never end up using marble. They're already in the game. Wait, are they? Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I am stupid. Okay, screw it. We'll just add a second Furious Neanderthal try to try to equal it out. A nudist tribe, a cannibal tribe, these are all baseline, these are boring. Cannibal pirate. Pirate gang. Nah, it's screwed, I don't really care. We'll, we'll just add more of those guys, it, does, it doesn't matter. We'll add more of the special enemies. <laughs> I remember Neanderthals are, uh... I remember Neanderthals are kinda like... One of the toughest enemies in the game, particularly early game, they're a bit... What is that faction? This faction, what is that faction? They're hostile. What are they? I remember, are those the pigs? Get rough outlanders? I have some mods, but I'm beyond... That is the rough pig union, okay. Okay. So I, I was like, I was going crazy in my brain. I was trying to think like, man, I know who those guys are, but I also don't remember who those guys are. Is it limestone, sandstone, slate? So I remember last time I had...
I had a year-long, year-round growing period. That makes the game a lot easier. I'm playing on the second highest difficulty, and I'm not that good at the game, so I kind of need to, uh, you know, make life easier on myself. A year-round growing period is probably, it, it's probably better, but it's, you know. Let's see, uh, marble slate and sand, that's fine. We'll just go here, it's fine. We're gonna create an ideology, what do we do here? So we're gonna try to play the most around the new stuff, the anomalies, all the anomaly. Blah, blah, blah. You guys wanna do a river start? Uh, I guess, marble and slate. Slate's fine. Oh no, we're near pollution? Oh no. You know, I always tell myself I'm gonna end up selling stuff, and then I never end up selling stuff. Well, we'll start on a river, although I'll be honest, I don't really... ...do much with that. I, I tried to do pastoral last time. Dude, I just don't get animals. I'm not... like, I don't get the system. I tried. I remember one time I got elephants, and that was fun. But I never managed to recreate that, uh, experience. You're telling me river start is bad. So what's good? <laughs> Being in a desert, dying horribly. <coughs> Sorry. 40 out of 60 days is a growing period. Mm. Fine, we'll start, like, right... If you start on a road, does that do anything? I don't remember if being on a road does anything. Or even if you can not on a road. Okay, slate and marble, that's fine, whatever. Okay, we're, we're going, we're going, we're, we're moving past. The Arkist, I don't know, we'll do that. And we're gonna do... Ritualist? There's greater energy in the universe. Through ritual, we can understand it and harness its power. No, that's not exactly what I'm going for. We're not exactly trying to... Harness its power. I guess we can do vampires. Man, I have never done vampires in this game. I haven't heard much about them, which probably means it's not the best. Let's see, transhumanist, sleep accelerator preferred. Um, I'll be honest. Oh my God, Kitty, you're being a biggest meow meow of meow meowville. Prothesizer, it's our duty to spread our beliefs. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I, I'm obviously going to play around the demons, and I'm going to do funny demon containment stuff, right? Well, the anomalies, you know what I mean, right? But what do I what do I combo with that? Last time I tried to do Rancher, and it was kind of fun, but also I'm really not that... I just... I, I don't get where you get, like, these animals and stuff, dude. I one time lucked out and tamed some elephants and felt really cool about that. And I was like, yay! And elephants were, like, super badass, and they did a lot, but... Let's see, so what, what do I go here for a check? Give me, give me ideas. We can do, wait, I try Rancher Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Um, we can try Transhumanist. I could kinda... I'm not really done body modification, I'm gonna be honest with you. Flesh Purity. Body modification abhorrent. Wait, isn't there one of these that do gene modding? I remember gene modding being a big thing, but it seems to have kinda... Not really gone anywhere. Humans are the moral center of the universe. Okay. We get a production specialist for some reason. Work drive tripled. Hmm. Transhuman dark voodoo. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. So it's always... I feel like most people don't... I feel like most people don't even work with this. Most people are better at this than me. It's our duty to spread our beliefs. No, I'm not, doing, I'm not, I'm not flipping around to do vampires. It would take too long. We had a style category. We're gonna go with a totemic spike core. Morbid. Let's remove totemic. 
Spike core. Spike core morbid. Not exactly what I'm going for here. And techist morbid. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just at this point I'm just enjoying it. That's that's more what I'm going for right here. No, that's like perfect. Okay, obviously you want research to be very fast, because I'm cool like that. Male clothing, pants and shirt. Men also must wear shirts. If the women wear shirts, the men must wear shirts. Prothletizing. Frequent. What does that do? Idealization spread chance. Those who know the truth or duty always spread it, drive out others. Development points. Convert a new member. Plus one. Relic obtained. Plus five. Dude, I have never done this relic stuff because I'm never... Like, I feel like I'm always behind other people. It's so weird. We need to add a roll. We have, like, no rolls. Wow, we have absolutely no... Rolls. Dude, I've tried to get relics and you do like the the problem is I don't really like the special missions in this game. They're like not exactly done well. Hold on. What what is my relic, Chad? What is our relic? Our relic will be the holy grenade launcher. <laughs> The holy, I have some mods here, I did stuff here. The holy minigun. And what's the minigun's name? The, uh, the, the minigun. <laughs> <laughs> the, the holy minigun of truth. <laughs> what rituals can we add? Oh, I need a dance party. As we called, uh, Uh, Arc Arconic Fiesta. It's perfect. Let's see what we got here. Um, venerated animals. We we don't venerate hares. We venerate the holy. I don't know elephant. Oh god, there's so many animals in this game. Why do I never see them if there's so many animals in this game? Oh my god, I only ever see like five or six. I swear to God. Okay, most I see like ten of these. Like, when's the last time I've seen a bison? Or, I mean, arctic fox, I'm assuming is in an arctic, same with arctic wolf. Alpha beaver, never seen that. I mean, rhinos, rhinoceros, why was it so weird? Yeah, I saw, I saw one red fox. Thrombo, you see, timber wolf, nope. Tortoise, I see those every so often. <sighs> no, we revere. Something very dear to me. Elephants. And only elephants. <laughs> oh, that's right. I can do a Xenotype editor. I never do that. Maybe I should one day. Preferred apparel. Uh, cowboy hats. Obviously. We have a relaxed preferred apparel and cowboy hats. That's just true. Right there. Weapons. No, uh, oh, right, I want to remove the, uh, clothing requirement from this stuff, otherwise it just gets irritating sometimes. Um, let's see, Moon Giant, Skull Spike, anything, anything we want to add here? Add a precip, um, Void Study. What does that do? Study efficiency, 100%. We just, we study really good, that's what we do. Charity, mining, no, cutting trees, prohibited cutting, wow, you could really add some, uh, really nasty debuffs to yourself here, eh? Hmm. Killing innocent animals. Innocent animals, what defines an innocent animal? Psychic rituals. 
exalted. Connecting with the psychic flows bring us, us closer to truth. No psychic rituals for th six days. Minimum expectation high. You know what? We like that. We like psychic rituals. Why? So we can get to whatever it is we're trying to do here. Spouse free physical love. Obviously, guys. We're not weird here. Diversity of thought. Intense bigotry. Think our ways or die. That just seems to be way too much of a debuff. Not gonna lie. I would do it if it was like a little bit of a debuff or maybe it helped you, but like, man. Man. Get any colonist of a different religion, which will happen 100% of the time, and then everyone just like dies. Everyone just starts punching the walls and stabbing each other to death. Okay. Corpse is ugly, insect meat despised. What, loved? No. No. No, no, no. Okay, add a breeze. Can, what, what else can we do here that's funny? Bio sculpting? What is bio sculpting again? Bio sculpt. I don't know what that is. Meat eating. Vegetarians disliked. Meat eating disapproved. No, I mean, that doesn't really have anything to do with what we're going here. You took a nap or saw this game. Chat, we're, we're making stuff. We're making. We're, Autonomous weapons prohibited. You know, I kind of dislike how if you take buffs, it's like a free buff. You're just like, we research faster. Yay, cool. But then if you take a debuff, it's just like a free debuff. Like, I feel like, I mean, I don't know. Blood feeders, revered. So that's the thing, you could take revered blood feeders, right? And it's like, you only get a little bit of a debuff if you don't have a blood feeder master. But if you are a blood feeder, you're just like, da da da, you're just like huge buff. The figure of truth? No, it needs to be, it needs to look more like that. Yeah, that, that's more the figure of truth. Ritual seat, pew. Yeah, that's probably fine. What's our holy weapon? Um, noble long shots despise short shots. No, noble melee despised ranged. Oh god, but that would be so bad. It would be funny a few times, but then can you imagine you roll a range character? How good does this do? Victory by noble weapon plus three, wielding noble weapon plus three. Oh boy. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a full melee run. I always do so many ranged runs. Screw it. Let's do a full melee run. We will take the demons down in melee. God, this is gonna suck. Jay, is this even playable? Oh my god, they all have cowboy heads. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Um, how do we change our color? Purple cowboys. The Arconic Path. Nah, it's lame. Chat, we need to think of the, the what path. The... Melee path. <laughs> Adjective. Melee. I don't know how we did this. Remember noun. Melier. Ritual room. The melee. The melee path. Chad, don't ask how I randomly just flipped it, but we got okay. We, preferred apparel, cowboy hats, relaxed though. Look, like, if you wear cowboy hats, it's cool. If you don't, that's cool too. We need cowboy hats and hold on here. Hold on. Isn't there like a, a, a robe? No, it's just button down shirt. A button-down shirt. I feel like going hard on that would be bad. Uh, we have the melee path. And we... Wear... Ugh, that's lame. 
Huh, top right? No, I don't want to do a robe. I want to do like... Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't like this. I don't like it. Wait, do we do purple cowboy hats, chat? That's just what we do. <laughs> hey, what are you? You cooking animals construction? Honestly, not a bad guy. Also incapable of violence. Not great. Let's see, what do you do? You got mining, animals, medical. Honestly... Incapable of animals as an animals character. Got it. Really insane fighting character. Make this dude a Neanderthal and... Should I add a Neanderthal? What do Neanderthals do again? I totally forgot what Neanderthals do. Poor intellectual, poor social, poor shooting. No, I'm not doing the anomaly start. Look dumb. No, I feel like, well, I mean, I could do a full melee religion. Let me think, so what, what, what else do I need? I need to look what they do. Heat tolerant, cold tolerant, slow runner, strong immunity. Immunity gain speed is decent. Social fight chance. Strong melee damage is always good. You know what? I kind of like this. Hunger rate. Wait. They get less hungry? You'd think they would get more hungry. Slow study. Oh my god, a global learning factor of 50%. Yeah, okay, now I see why they're less hungry. Okay, what are you? You're good at melee and plants and art and decent. Honestly, plants is always a good start. No. We need, uh, well, let me think here. You're really good at construction and mining. Still decent in cooking and plants. Good in medical as well. That's decent. So that leaves you. So then we need a cook. But you need to be a better cook then. Let me see what we can uh, spice up here for cooking. Cooking, plants, melee. That's pretty much the ideal melee faction guy, right? Like, this is pretty much the ideal melee faction, dude. As anyone who's ranged, I'm just gonna reroll. Until they're melee oriented. I don't care what, I'm just gonna try to keep it melee oriented. They can't fight? Yeah, I'll be honest, that kind of sucks. But, uh... We've got two melee fighters. Uh, I mean... Jeez, there, there's, there's one problem. And that problem is that we're gonna have to get melee weapons pretty quickly. Let's see, you're incapable of violence. You're... Intellectual. You can't do research or study or artistic. You can't do artistry either. That's pretty bad. Let's see. You are beautiful. So, beauty plus two. Psychopath and greedy. Okay. Fast walker is always good. Brawler is always good too. How come Jess looks tiny? And just absolutely massacres people in melee. Jesse is massive, can't fight at all. Okay, you know what? This is fine. Honestly, it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Can you be a character? For asking first, Kizzy, I will let you be a character. You can be the pacifist. It occurs to me I probably should have just made my religion melee oriented chat, but this is fine too. Uh, Gizzy. You know, I should have made an actual fighting religion for once. I never make a fighting religion. Wear the flak vest, flak pants. Flag helmet, get the knife. Okay. Fast walker brawler? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, we do have a plants character, right? I didn't roll up with no plants. No, I did. We have two plants characters, actually. That's really good. Now, we have a cooking plant, and then Gizzy's constructed. So, actually, this worked out pretty dang good. For once, I actually have, like, a competent start where I'm not just randomly inting myself for no reason by being too random. I just like to assign this, and then we kind of go from there. Now, you are going to have to be the cook by default. Gizzy, you're going to have to be the doctor by default. Okay. So, we have no melee weapons on that one, but we're not going to pick up that ranged weapon. We just, we don't need it. Even though we start with two ranged weapons, we're not going to do it. What kind of game is this? The best. The greatest. The number one. Oh, we kind of get screwed here on terrain we can farm on. Okay, so we go down here. Ancient war spider remains. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so let's sink here. Let's, uh... What is it again? What do we do? We do four... You guys do four by four, which has always been weird to me. It's bed... Dresser. No, it's it's this. What does this I do? It's it's four by six. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Four by six is good. That's what I like. Yeah, because I like to do this. Don't ask me why. It just we just do it like this. Wait, damn it! You guys rolled up too big. You idiots. Because it's four up. Yeah. There we go. Let's see. Put the doors here. Build in the ruins? I don't build in ruins, Chet, because they aren't the ruins of my civilization. My civilization is great. Grand, in fact. Amazing. Incredible. Honestly, you should just start everyone building rice, and then if you want to build something else, you should be able to choose that. I feel like if I just started everyone on rice, it would uh, actually save a lot of time. Okay, so let's do that. And then let's put down a second growing zone. And let's put it... Uh... Oh, I don't even know. Let's do it like here. And we will do... Uh, cotton. Because I always run into an issue. Wait, do we have anyone who can do construction though? Crafting? Oh, we don't have anyone who can do crafting. Ah, that's fine. We'll find someone who can do crafting soon. And then uh, we want a third growing zone. Oh my god. Okay, we don't want it like this. So this will be rice. This is easy, refillable food right here. Then we want another growing zone here. And then, okay, there we go. And we want this to be the Giga Corn. Don't ask me why I'm doing this all right now. Honestly, I, I should probably not be doing that right now, but I am because I do. Okay, and then we want bed, bed, bed. We obviously need, uh, end tables, chairs. We need, uh, let's see, wood chopped to make this supplied. Oh yeah, and then what we need... Uh, let's see, we need a, uh, food area. So what do I always do? It's always four... No, it's five by four. I think that's right. Is it five? No, that'd be too small. So it's like this. Because then you do a, uh, let's see, what do we do here again? We do a fueled stove here next to a butcher's table here. No, nope. okay, it is one more. Okay, I, I always do one less than I should, and I do it every single time, so don't don't ask. We're just, we're very good at this game. I'm, I'm a very good player, obviously. I 
know everything I'm doing all the time. Butcher's table here. Then the fueled stove here. Yes, this works. Okay, we put the uh, door down here. And then up here. No, 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 no. We need this to be the opposite. Yeah. The butcher's table goes here like that. The fueled stove goes here. And then this leads off into the food storage. And then we have another door going up, which will lead into the eating area. And then we want recreation. Horseshoes right here, because it just always fits. And then I'll have everyone, if you have literally nothing better to do. Yeah, and then you prioritize fixing that bed. Cause uh, the bed is fixed and everyone's got a bed for tonight and then everyone should be happy. Boom. First day, easy. Now, there should be a monolith on the map. Anyone see it? Anyone see an evil looking monolith? Does it spawn in after you do your thing? I wonder. There should be an evil monolith. That's kind of how you start doing, or though maybe it does spawn in later. I don't know. Oh shoot, that's right. Um, zone. Stockpiles. And now what do we do? We put our wreck area here and we have to make it weirdly big. Then this is our barracks. And then over here, let's see, that'll be production. So stockpile, let's just put it here for now. Who's constructor? Gizzy, you're doing construction. And he's good at constructing. This dude, like, BAM! Dude constructs like a champion. Look at this dude. He, he just, he constructs things like nothing. Dude enters the area and it's constructing itself. He's doing it so quickly. Okay. Um, early game is just not gonna be uh, super exciting. Mostly gonna be uh, you know sitting there doing nothing. Now, are any of you guys? He's also good at mining. That's good. Oh, Jade. You, let's see, cook simple meals until we have fifty. Male Yorkshire Terrier. Our pet animal is a Yorkshire Terrier. I mean, that's fine. Mm. Do we have anyone who can do animal stuff, though? I didn't really focus on that. I mean, no, not really. Okay, so let's think what we do here for, uh, let's see. Wooden wall. For now, let's do like this. And then, uh, let's see what we want here. We want uh, a wooden table, two by two. Some people do two by four, some people do one by two. I think two by two is like the perfect amount of like, you're definitely not min-maxing, but it still looks good.
Let's see. He's playing with the horseshoe pin. Yep. That's gonna take a while to be built again. Chat. Chat, we're already rebuilding society. I am the society. Why was I paused? Who paused, chat? Honestly, his construction skills are really good, though. Are we already done planting everything? God damn. I guess idle? No, you're not idle. Are you happy for holding a melee? Wielding a plastic steel knife. Normal. Wait, how do we hunt? Chad, are you allowed to hunt with a knife? A knife? I think you're actually disabled from that, aren't you? Dang. That'd be annoying. Especially come mid-game. That's gonna be a pain. Do you have good plants? Actually, his plants isn't even bad. Dude, my starting crew here is amazing. A visitor. Are you from anyone? You're from the League of Bram. Let's see, you're good at melee and intellectual. Wait, you're really good for me. Chad, should I just kidnap this dude, like, immediately? Chad, give me an opinion. What's the goal of this game? Uh, to be a game. When's it over? When I say it's over. Chad, should I just kid up this dude like immediately? Hold on, who's got the best melee? It's you, Jess. Jess, arrest this man. Oh my God. Okay, Jess, just uh, this is for prisoners now, Jess. Wait, where'd he go? Wait, seriously, where did he go? Am I blind? There, you. Arrest this man, Jess. Oh no, he's fall back. The League of Bram is now hostile. You killed them! And for what? And for what? Oh my god, he had so much food. Oh my god. Dude, seriously? You had one job. Don't kill a bitch. And you killed a bitch. Maximum is 20, which is really not reachable for intelligence for a stat. 10 is pretty good. 12 to 14 is about where most people get if they're like really good at a stat. Uh, unlike Kenshi, I do believe there is stat decay. Unless you're doing janky stuff, it's pretty hard to uh, reach it. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, it looks like Jess stabbed him. Where, where did you stab him here, buddy? Looks like you cut him in the neck, torso, shoulder, both arms somehow, and his feet. In one stab. Honestly, raises questions about the physics of it all. It's a random death mechanic? Wait, what's a random death mechanic? I don't know anything about that. Random death mechanic? Is that a thing? Colonist instant death, instant kills, 100%. What does that mean? Disabled children, babies always healthy, child raiders. Really, child raiders? Enemy death on down, where is that? 
Enemy death on down. Uh, I don't see that. Under economy? Enemy death on down. It's an extra chance. Wait, what? Aren't I just playing Blood and Dust? What do you mean a hundred percent? What is that? Huh. It's kind of lame. So it's just a chance that a colonist just instantly dies. That seems like a sort of thing that seems funny at first, right up until it happens, and then you just load a save, and you're like, fuck that. I don't remember that being there when I used to play the game. People always used to go down. You'd have like a raiding party of three people. You'd have a raiding party of three people, you'd knock them all down. I remember because like, you'd always knock people down and then they just bleed to death outside. When did they add that? That doesn't seem like it makes the game more fun. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I only have one dude with a knife. A knife. So, uh, hmm. We kind of need to get more people with knives. Shambler's approach. That is one fat zombie. Okay, research. Uh, first thing we need to do is get smithing. No, when I- I remember playing this game a long time ago and it wasn't- Are you kidding me? My Yorkshire Terrier just died. Boogie- wait, what? It was bonded to Jess? That's it, Jess. Take down that cougar. Yeah, there you go, chat. Okay, but seriously? Are you kidding me? That sucks. Alright, here we go. Butcher it. No, don't butcher your animal! Okay, chat, he's butchering his best friend. I, I guess this is maybe their form of bonding? I mean, like, in a weird way, you know, I, I guess. Okay, you know, my people are, uh, definitely, definitely interesting people. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sure. It just occurs to me that you always need to rush batteries no matter what. It occurs to me, it, uh... Reminds me, you always have to rush batteries in every single game, no matter what. Just how the world works. Honestly, I really think they should just start you. I think, I think, this isn't even me being greedy. I, I literally think they should just start you. Um... Oh, you can't build there. Huh. I think they should just start you, um... Already having, uh... Batteries. 
Because, like, 90% of the time, you just have to rush batteries. It's kind of, mm. I'm not saying, like, oh my god, I hate this, but, like, you know. Stockpile zone. Okay. So, what we do here is we put the stockpile zone right here. Um. Boulderon. That's perfect. You already start with batteries in the new start? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, then why don't they just do that then? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Orders. Isn't there a thing? Chat, isn't there a thing where you can, like, you, like, I don't even know, you, like, remove the water or something? I don't know, dude. I decided to start over with mechanoids off because I was trying to do I was trying to do a run that was all like You know, I was trying to do a run that was all like about uh, All about the new content and stuff and then I realized that like I would never be able to have a run about the new content so long as mechanoids were on because the second you got close enough to like actually have enough set up to start doing anything, the mechanoids would just instantly spawn and attack you. So like the second you were like, oh man, you now have enough containment centers and your wealth is good. Then the mechanoids are like, sounds like it's our turn to play. And you're just like, oh mechanoids, please stop. And they're like, mechanoids. And you're like, why has this shit not been disabled yet? Kind of sucks that every DLC kind of gets messed up because it just spawns the mechanoids faster. Mechanoids are killer robots and it makes sense within the confines of the universe. It's like fine, but like it's just the way the game works. You must keep your wealth down to avoid mechanoids, but then every expansion they come out with new cool mechanics and stuff that like you want to play with because Oh man, look at this cool new stuff. But then, oops, it spawns mechanoids. And oh wait, now you need a min-max to avoid mechanoids. Because, like, the problem is, fundamentally, I'm making my storage area bigger. It could occur to me I have a bit too much already. The problem with mechanoids is, like, it doesn't progress, let's say, naturally. I'll put it that way. It's not like you go from, like, Oh man, like two raiders to three raiders and oh man, once you had seven raiders, it can spawn three mechanoids. It'll be like Oh man, you can beat three raiders? What about seven killer robots with death lasers? And you're just like, wait, what? One of these is like way harder than the other. And it's like, can you fight three raiders with armor? And you're like, yeah. And it's like, then you'll love the proton fucking artillery bombs. They will destroy you from across the map. Their robots can one shot anyone without armor in melee. And you're like, that seems higher tier. Hmm. You know, it just occurred to me that maybe stabbing everyone to death in melee was going to have some issues. Now that I think about it, chat. Stabbing everyone to death means that, like, we are slowly going to die. Because... Every single enemy is going to be able to stab us back. Which means we're slowly going to take damage. Who does the doctoring here? You. Chief Medical Scientist Gizzy. Uh... Yeah, there you go. Tend to the prisoner. Okay, so now what we need to do is convert to my religion. Yeah, every enemy is gonna stab us back, which is gonna make this quite difficult, I won't lie to you. Do 
Do we have any social characters? Oh, we do not. Hmm. Okay. Are you social? No, you got a social here. Okay, everyone's a goddamn moron. Robin, what do you do here that's so important? Oh, you cook. Okay, do wardening as well. Cougar meat is rotted away in storage. Yeah, I know. No, let's just, let's plan big here, chat. We plan for success. Yeah. This is a, no. You know what? Screw it. Why not? Chat, why go small? Go big. This is our storage room for food. This is our refrigerator. Let's see. Clear all critical foods. Okay. But not rotten. We're gonna have plate armor. Plate armor is like really good in this game for some reason. Don't ask why, but like in other games, guns go through plate armor. In this game, plate armor blocks guns completely. Like, you just wear some like knight armor and a dude shoots you with an assault rifle and it just bounces off and you're just like, what? Oh my god, lobster almost instantly converted to our religion. We're like, hey buddy, we stab you, uh, but then we healed you. You want to join our religion? And he's like, yeah. Warg is hunting Gizzy. Now this looks like a job for Jess. Jess, get up here, buddy. Gizzy, you're the medic, right? Yeah, you're allowed to self-tend. Oh, wait, that's right. Uh... Hold on. Um, Gizzy, keep three medicine on you. Jess, also keep three, because you're going to have to self-tend. Oh, you're literally never allowed to do that. Oh, god damn it. That's not good. Well, there's your one downside. Wait. Gizzy is incapable of violence. Okay. Hmm. Damn it. Yeah, see, here's a problem. I'm going to keep getting scratched up by wolves. Don't tend without medicine. Go get medicine. We'll make this a medical bed. You go rest until healed. And you, tend. Shouldn't you have medical supplies on you? Man, I feel like uh, we've had a lot of fights really early on. Fortunately, Jess is already stabbity stabbitying people. What the hell? Yeah, I I, I kind of forgot, dude. We uh, oh boy, we we cannot, we can't stab people properly. Well, I mean, we can, but then we get stabbed back, which is a bit of a problem. It's a steel knife. Oh, yeah, when Robin wakes up, we give him this steel knife. And then we need to make plate armor. <sighs> because otherwise we're going to die. With plate armor, we can actually survive most things. I think, if I remember correctly, plate armor basically carries you until late game. Dude, get the goddamn knife. We have not summoned a Cthulhu yet, no. Dude, I, I, that's, what I, that's what I joke about with this game, dude. I don't know why, like... Why in this game is plate armor, like, so, like, dramatically overstat? 
It's like comical in a way, you know? It's like comically overstat. I want it to be as much over this as it can be, so then they auto clear it because it's a, uh, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, because his, like, obviously, historically, plate armor would, uh, probably not survive assault rifle rounds. But in game, plate armor is, like, really, like, if, if someone comes at you with plate armor, if you have, like, a ne Neanderthal... I literally do this every single time with that stuff literally every single time wasn't plate armor still relatively good till rifling kind of sort of yes i actually know about this one so basically well okay so there's actually a video that goes around on twitter and stuff of like a dude uh, a kasar kusar like a like a chest plate being shot at by a um a musket and deflecting it they actually do it right on the crease. The bullet hits right on the crease where the armor would be best. That wouldn't happen the vast majority of the times. At all. Possibly. No, it would not happen. You're crazy if you think it would. You're absolutely nuts if you think it would. Okay. So, um... Basically, chest plates were still somewhat sort of good at deflecting some rounds to the point where it was worth having them. Which is why you'll often see, um, you'll often see, like, a lot of pictures or art or stuff where, like, it'll be, like, Spanish conquistadors, and they've got the chest plate that's called the Kassar. Um, and the Kassar was still, by the way, the Kassar was still, um, popular. The Kassar is still popular until like yeah rifles like the napoleonic time it was still being used right and um plate armor as a whole kind of got invalidated by firearms having well-made chest pieces like if you only had to make one piece really well it was probably fine to have a chest piece made really well. Because you have to remember, we're talking about, like, shitty rifles versus well-made chest pieces, right? So, like, with things like cavalry, yeah, you could use a chest piece. With things like, uh... Well, that's the thing. A well-made chest piece would, would be very expensive and be hard to build. Yes, I agree. And that's why, you know, generally speaking, generally... Speaking, uh, you know, armor fell out of style because, yeah. Now, guarding your torso was generally fine. Like, having full plate, like, armor down to your hands, down to your feet. Like, all of that shit, impractical. Like, no way, right? But you can reduce the cost of full plate by, like, 80% if all you do is guard your chest. A helmet? Sure, helmets for the most part worked, right? You get like a little thing here, blocks you from getting shot in the brain. Works out well, right? Pretty cheap. Chest piece also prevents you from being shot right in the chest. Works out. Pretty hard to, to, to do, but you know, for the most part, yeah, it's still fine. Muffalo self-tamed. Do I have anyone with enough animals at all? I don't think we have anyone with enough animals to work with that.
Well, that's the thing. It's not like just because you had a Kassar. That doesn't mean that, um, just because you have a Kassar doesn't mean that you get shot in the chest and you survive it. It can still go right through, which is, you know, one of the issues here. It's not great. But at the very least, let's say you're you're a, a cavalryman, a kassar, a kassarier, literally called a kassarier because they wear the kassar chest plate. Um, those were still used until the 1800s, because you put you know a plate chest on a cavalry, give them a decent enough helmet, and they're going to be able to charge into musket fire. Do they survive every time? No. Do they survive sometimes? Sure. And once you're in range, and once you get a sword, you start chab, you know, stabby stabby. So cavalry can very much easily charge into infantry if you position them properly, if you use them properly. Cavalry could definitely charge into infantry and, and take them out. But again, this comes down to, uh... You know, you kind of have to have... Good cavalry and stuff like that. And this isn't like a... Isn't like a tactic you can use all the time. You can't just like, because I mean that's what Napoleon even ended up doing. Is he, he started kind of using his cavalry charge way too often. It became predictable. Once the cavalry charge was predictable, it's like, well, hmm, I wonder what we do. Okay, so we're gonna need lighting everywhere. People generally don't like the dark. Generally. Some people do. I don't, uh... Don't, uh, insult the people that like the dark. You like the dark? That's fine. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. So, like, basically as time went on, what I'm trying to say here is in, in terms to this game, a plate chest, that would probably be a Kassar. Could it stop a bullet? Sure, sometimes. Could it stop an assault rifle? No. Okay, he is converted to the melee pass, so now it's easier to recruit him, I believe. Resistance, 15.0 to 14.9. Boy, this might take a while. We are not getting much wind here. Just imagine it's power armor, but it's not. Because it's literally, you go long blades and plate armor. Complex clothing and the plate armor. The actual armor in game is like way down here and weirdly you sit on plate armor the entire game and then like in one fell swoop you go from recon armor to marine armor to cataphract armor which i've always found really weird that there's no like middle ground you just go from plate armor right into recon marine cataphract like maybe they could put like recon armor down here or something so like you have a little bit of a stopgap.
I mean, I imagine mods will fix most issues people have with most games, yes. It's not exactly fair then, though, to say mods fix that, because, like, yeah, I mean, probably. Let's get some wood floor. A lot of games have active modding communities, if they're at least decent enough. Honestly, a lot of times it doesn't even come down to, is the game good? It comes down to, like... Oh boy. Are you guys gonna sprint me? Oh, holy shit, they're just sprinting me. Okay, fellas. Oh, you have an axe. Okay, uh... 2v1, 2v1! Ugh, ugh. Uh, 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 uh. All right, get him now. Ooh, ah, uh, ah. This is not exactly the most. Ex ah. Oh, look at this combat. It's so ex exhilarating, thrilling, even. How good are you? Wait, you're really good at melee. Shoot. Chat, that's another person that's like really good. Dang. Are winning? Of course we are. Destroying, in fact. We're gonna need more beds. Yeah, we really can't recruit anyone though, because we're kind of really... Uh, not great at it. I'm gonna be honest. Did no one heal Robin? Okay, hold on here. Robin lost his little, oh boy. He lost his little left toe, his little fourth toe, and his little big toe. That's... Dude's just down a leg at this point. So who's trying to do all the converting? We probably should add a social character. Dang. I mean, we're really good at everything other than social, though. He is not garbage now, chat. He's still amazing. Okay, he is infected, though. Oh, shoot. Jess is infected. Prioritize tending. And then feeding. That should be good. There's absolutely no way. Yeah, it'll heal up because we got a hundred percent healing. We actually have good medicine. Gizzy is unfortunately kind of doing everything right now. Gizzy, why are you doing everything right now? Who is the cook here? Oh, it's Robin. Who's dying. Whole body, blood loss extreme. He, uh, he clearly needs to clean the blood off the crops. It's, uh, not very... Good for the crops.
Boy, it's gonna take a while. Medical treatment needed. It's just a minor infection. He's fine. I have food poisoning from a dirty cooking area. Hey, man. At least you got fed, asshole. What, are you gonna complain about being fed? For free? Free feeding? You whine about it? Some people, am I right, chat? Uh, Dude, we need a free colonist. Where's my free colonist mission? Cleric role unfilled. Well, realistically, the only character with any social is this dude. So he's kind of got to be the cleric. Bit unfortunate, that. your conversion power special power conversion activated we're never gonna convert these people I mean the resistance is falling though now does the cleric role actually help him at all or is it just Cleric, okay. It doesn't seem to actually give you any benefits. It just gives him abilities. Now a raid by the Benby Nation? Oh boy. It's one dude. It's one dude with an axe. Robin, I'ma need you. Isn't there a spear? There's a knife? Didn't you have a knife? Okay, that's an awful steel knife. A normal steel equa. Now, how much? Let's look at the damage here. Okay. Man of the damage is 6.71. Knife is 5.2. Axe is 5.97. Axes are really bad in this game for some reason. Okay, so go take that uh, spear thingy. Dude, why are we getting raided so much? My god. We're getting the whole last struggle bus package here this time around, eh? Okay, you two, come on. Robin, you are not helping, buddy. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Come on, just don't get hit twice. Don't get hit three times. Okay, come on, just just dodge every- oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, this is kind of the problem of running all melee. If we RNG bad hits, we just die. Yeah. <laughs> Little bit of an issue, that one. Blood loss, moderate. Medical treatment needed. Not really. Here's what we do. Gizzy, tend to Jess, yes. Robin, drink a beer. I don't know where you found it, but yeah, okay. You know, I was getting cloth to eventually get some, like, clothes and stuff. Oh god, now it spawns two of them. Dude, there's no way. Man, melee sucks. Ooh, 
What kind of madman would play this game with melee? I think if you played melee, you'd have to do one of the benefits that actually makes melee good. Come on, guys. Really? Now you just gotta win this one. Gizzy! Rescue! Rescue Gizzy! Sprint it! No, dude, you don't have to mod melee to make it good. You don't need to mod everything in this game that you don't like, or is underpowered by a little bit. Dang it. Are you? Wait, you're actually okay. Huh. Yeah, I think if I did a different start, this would uh, probably have gone differently. Come on. What do you mean starvation? For who? For Gizzy? Yeah, probably. Dude needs to eat. Dude, okay, how much is there to bandage here? Okay, dude, do, do and eat. Get, get some food in you. You're gonna die. Doesn't do you any good if you die. Are any of these wounds bleeding? None of them are bleeding. So just left thumb cut off. I think also if you're a Neanderthal, melee is decent. Because then you just don't die. You just eat everything. Take no damage. Okay, chat. We've uh, successfully murdered everyone. My muffalo has gotten sick with the plague. I mean, I think we just slaughter it. Robin is on a food binge. I mean, that's fine, buddy. Are you alive? Disturbing vision. Jess had a strange dream. Great. Jess is having dreams because she's going crazy on account of the whole, uh, getting s murdered 900 times. Equip that knife. Are you kidding me? Shit, and we converted him to our religion, too. And Robin is being a dumb bitch. Gizzy, maybe, maybe rescue Jess? I don't know. Okay, well, Jess is... G Gizzy threw up. Is he, do, you have, do you have food poisoning, buddy? No. No, yes you do. Wonderful. Okay, well, the dude's chasing around my pacifist now, so nothing's getting done. Okay.
Maybe, maybe bring them back to the people who can help you. I don't know. Hmm. Come on, Robin. Just take him down, buddy. Just, just get a hit here. Yes. Oh my god. We're missing wood to build the fucking door. Okay, Robin, you're dead is going there. Sorry, Robin, you're dumb. Oh good, he's dead. Nod's nah, fine. Now we just gotta work on the other dude. Is anyone fed Jess? Gizzy, feed. Oh boy. Instant food poisoning, eh? Oh boy, now we have a mad wild boar. There sure are a lot of bodies around us this time around. Last time, not so many bodies. This time, uh... Sure are a lot of bodies. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Boy, the, uh... Melee only run without a Neanderthal to carry it sure is something, eh? Not something good, but it is something. Chad, how do I get them to heal faster? Jess is having a disturbing vision of the monolith. Was that always there? I feel like that was not always there. Hello. Pezoxy. Chad, we need dusters. Does anyone actually do crafting here? No, nobody crafts here. Of course. Cannot capture, no bad. We were definitely having a few issues here. Aren't you the plant guy?
Oh boy, now the the mad boar is back. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay. Dude, if I could at least get these people back up to normal standards. <laughs> okay, you need to go chop down some fucking trees, dude. When are we gonna take over the world? Uh, when we stop getting stabbed in the early game. That's not what I wanted. Did you make the door? Okay. Local man very much regrets going with melee build early game. Local man very much regrets it. Quest available, colonist lending. Lend her a colonist? Yeah, I don't think I can do that, buddy. I don't think that's a viable option, my friend. What am I gonna do with that rotting corpse near my crops? Chat. Do you think I can really deal with the rotting corpse near my crops at this moment? Do you think as of this this second I can deal with that shit? Muffalo one died. Well, you know, didn't I say we should slaughter it and just, you know. Muffalo give us a lot of food. Clean the kitchen. Chet, how do we clean the kitchen? No one has any time to do anything. Everyone's getting their ass kicked non-stop. Do a conversion special. Special ability, mega converted. Okay, now you, let's recruit. Yeah, I feel like social doesn't really skill up very quickly, despite the fact he's doing it non-stop. Hmm. Chad demands a sacrifice. Chad, how many people have died? How many people have died, Chad? In here, in like the last five seconds. Are there you guys good at crafting? 
Oh, both you guys are. Okay. Yeah, I know about the monolith. We're ignoring the monolith for now. SCP Foundation will uh, be back in a second here. SCP Foundation is uh, hitting some snags. Based on the... We are getting fucking slaughtered out there. Where did thing come from? Chad, the monolith has always been there. The monolith has always loved you. The monolith has always loved you. The monolith has always been there. The monolith has always been there. The monolith has always loved you. Yeah, I don't want to touch the monolith. We're already getting screwed enough. If at the very least we can get these two here, we can outnumber aliens and shit. But right now we're just getting our ass whooped repeatedly. Make duster, make cowboy hat. Let's see, what else do we need? We need a uh, button down shirt. Make t shirt. We make them all until we have one, and then we make a young drifter seeks aid. Are you far enough trying to see me? Chad, pig needs help. He's looking for silver to buy the freedom of his sister. And I say we give it to him. Where is he? Pig! My good sir. Of course we will give it to you. We are the goodest people in the world. You thought I was joking. No, chat. We are good people here. We perform good deeds. My name's someone Pig? Well, his mom, clearly. All y'all need to clean on it, too. No one's cleaning. Robin's just doing a weird... run around. Greedy for impressive bedroom. Dude, you're such a piece of shit. Rebuffed by Gizzy. Disturbed sleep. Awful bedroom. What do you mean awful bedroom? Chet, these bedrooms are good. These are better than what I normally did. What are they talking about, awful bedroom? They gotta be kidding me. There's only a little bit of puke in the bedrooms, chat. Awful. Awful bedroom. Really? Uh, dude, I'm gonna, like, delete all this shit and we're gonna rebuild it all from the ground up. Swear to God. You know what? Fine. Chat, we're starting from the ground up. We'll build bigger bedrooms, faster bedrooms, stronger bedrooms. This is not a small bedroom. You got you got enough room to do all your, your shit. You got enough room. He's got enough room.
You've taken a logging site nearby. If I was in a desert, that'd be uh, very good. Very good knowledge. Things to know. You know what I mean? <coughs> we need more wood, goddammit. I kind of need these cheese chopped down. Kind of important to have wood. What is this? Why are we letting razor wire just sort of exist right next to us? She has a plant of seven. She should be learning very quickly. Have you guys been recruited yet? Come on. Robin's not great at this, but you know, he's okay. Yeah, we're not sending anyone to the monolith until we're like well prepared. We are currently not well prepared. Low medicine. Oh right, yes, medicine. That thing we're supposed to have. The thing I did not grow properly. Delete that zone, you expand. Okay, you, uh, heal root. There we go. Chat, I, I think we need to get out of the point at which we're just getting slaughtered repeatedly by every goddamn raid. If we get to that point, sure. But, uh, of things we are at, we are not at that point. Okay, we have a shitload of corn. Once we recruit one of these two people, at least, right? And everyone is just socially incompetent, so we're, we're never gonna have anyone who can actually talk to people without, like, spitting on them. Not even intentionally, just like accidentally, like, ah, oh, shit, didn't mean my spit to get there, my bad. Isn't everyone our religion? Everyone is our religion. So what's interesting about this game, well, I mean everything, everything is interesting. We need to replace that stove with an electric stove. And we're gonna plant a shitload of heal roots so we can actually get, you know, medicine. That'd be good to have medicine. The hell is this shit? Why are space debris falling on my goddamn wind turbines? Need warm clothes. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. When you're supposed to achieve? Sweet. Sweet, sweet victory. Is this social at a four yet? At least? No, he's one point off. Ugh. I mean, we're recruiting, we're recruiting. 
We're planting heal root right now so that eventually in the future we'll actually be able to get some medicine. Kind of run into a problem where we have infinite giga food though. But that's the thing. You have infinite giga food and then you just die. Not really sure how to describe it. One day you have infinite giga food, the next day you're dead. Come on, dude, get that recruitment. Oh boy, he is never getting recruited. Chat, we do not become the food. Yes, I break down ancient war spider remains with a f knife. How else, chat? Just, just break it with a knife, chat. She'll finish it tomorrow. I mean, it's under half. Probably not even worth finishing. I kind of thought that would be quicker. Kids in this game suck. They don't even say that as a meme. They're like actually not very good. Oh, that was a good resistance drop. Can you, uh... Can you just be recruited, maybe? That'd be cool. Man, trying to see if she breaks that thing down. You're just looking out the window. The fuck? Okay, so we recruit him next hit, and then we get another plant character, another melee character, and a somewhat decent crafting character. One colonist is idle. Really? We, we finally ran out of work? What do you do, Mr. Gizzy? You constructify. Okay, you know what? Fine. Let's, uh... Let's start constructing, then. Fine, chat. We'll make big rooms. Managing a lot of colonies would get old. Managing more than one colony would get old. Once we at least get one more person, we can start doing way more. I mean, we started doing decently once we stopped getting raided every 20 seconds, yeah. 
little bit of a shocker, that one. Granted, I did try to kidnap that dude, and I pissed off that party, and then they... There we go, chat. There's a recruit. We can't actually do that yet. Like we have to uninstall, 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 uninstall. Guys, can you go? Or not you, Jess. Just go arrest this dude. The fu he's not in jail. Oh no, wait, that became jail? What the hell? Okay, here we go. Now we will deconstruct this entire block. Okay, now... There, Chad. See? Look, we'll make everyone get gigabeds and shit. I even uninstalled the lights. You don't get that anymore, Chad, do you? So we're at the bodies in a small two by two room. No, you know what, Chad? If our if our batteries blow up, we deserved it. Honestly, I don't I don't like leaving things to uh you know what I mean? Like, like, if, like if our batteries blow up, you know, oh well. We probably should have, uh, not blown up then. You know what I mean? It's like if, if things blow up, then shouldn't they have blown up, chat? Right, they name the new guy. You know what? You're absolutely right, Deep. Let's name him. What, what do you think we should name him? We'll name him Deep. Colonists are idle. Chop wood then. Jackasses. A lit campfire. Melayers can have a special celebration. 
Begin real party. A ritual spot and a campfire. No, thank you. We got shit to do. We got shit to do. We got uh, lights to make. Planting everything and getting everything done. This is so weird. Normally this shit don't happen. And yet, here we are, like at 100% giga efficiency. Maybe chat's right. Maybe it is time. You know what? Deep's right. Deep. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Well, let's wait for him to wake up. Wait. Wait, wait, deep, go investigate it. Deep investigations. Yeah, it's a good monolith. Something, 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 keep focusing. It didn't say anything bad. Just keep focusing on it, chat. Just keep focus on the monolith. Focus on the monolith, focus on the monolith. See nothing but the monolith. Do you see how nothing bad happened? The monolith is a doorway. Okay, we now get a uh, fog around us. The fog is spreading. No, this is a good omen. This is a, this is the best omen. Right here, this is it. That's it, chat. If you ever want a good omen, it's a loud light followed by a fog setting in. God damn, you suck at converting people, dude. Okay, we got smithing. Now get us some long blades. Is that the one? Do we get long swords, chat? Oh god, I can't remember here. Okay, so it's long sword by default is 8.6 DPS. Halberd is 9.23, Battle Axe is 8.15. Halberd, yeah, Halberd's blatantly the best. A three-year-old child named Green Yup Jupiter is calling for help. She is hiding from a vengeful machine persona who she recently offended. She wants to flee and join you. Sure, fuck it. Get bored, Yup. It's only only three out of four of our people are female. Come aboard, Yup. Wow, you suck. So anyway, how do we sell Yup into slavery, chat? Asking for a friend who wants to sell Yup into slavery. She's three years old, chat. That means she won't even remember not being a slave. Think about it. Okay, uh... Gizzy's running like a fucking coward from the ghost. Guys, just just get in. Let them get in range and stab it. There we go. Okay, now we need. Honestly, this anomaly sucks. 
Even holding this anomaly is like a waste of my time. Now, honestly, the, the sight stealer sucks. It's not even worth it. Plus, we can't even contain it because we have no stone. Honestly, everything's going really well and it's starting to spook me. Yup doesn't do anything! Chat, all they do is eat my food! And yeah, I know there's a- I know there's a technology, but the technology to make them grow faster, it's like... It's past microelectronics. By the time... Chat, by the time we even get it, they'll already be grown up. Actually, that's true. Yup, get the cleaning and hauling. You can clean and you can haul. These are tasks... Let's find very large boulders that you can carry. We need to find granite. Wait, is there not granite here? I thought there was granite. There's slate? Huh. I guess we do slate. Zone Dumping zone Shamblers approach uh, That's a lot of shamblers Steel equal 6.71 5.95 Pila I don't know Deep's gotta get that spear in case the shambles shamble Oh, they're right there Yeah, I, I think they might find us Being that we're 10 feet away Most of the time they don't do anything But I, I promise you, Yup is gonna be a goddamn dumbass Yo, know, my god, the deserter? A perfect quest, chat, and nothing bad has ever happened from this quest. Oh no, it's Deep. Deep is the one who screwed us. Oh my god, they're so tanky. Oh boy, surely they don't have battle rifles and a shielded armored steel warhammer. We're dead. I, uh, I, I think accepting the deserter might potentially, possibly, in some small way, through no fault of my own, okay, been a mistake. We just need to continue to heal. Huh. 
Oh boy, they begun their assault, hey? Okay, I have an idea. We stay inside. Rush! Rush! Come on, guys. Melee rush! Okay, that worked. That worked. Oh, wait, they're fleeing. Okay, just don't even chase. Don't even chase. Easy, chat. Just go, stop going on an insulting spree. Why are people always on the border of madness? Well, I mean, we are being hunted by ghosts. And we did just piss off the tribesmen. And... Because it was funny, we also then pissed off the uh, international, you know, space marines. That one actually didn't work too bad. In the grand scheme of things, honestly, pissing off the International Space Marines, probably an overall, uh, funny. It was, it was very funny. I think the exact statement people had was, heh, kind of funny. Need anomaly project. Let's do entity containment. Oh, that's right. Can't we do that thing now? No, 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 no. It's not this one we need to do. Void provocation. That's one we need to go first. We need to chop wood. Y'all, we need more wood. We're gonna need a lot more wood. Okay, what do you have a major break risk on? Insulted seven times. Holy shit. Just did animation cancel insult loops on Gizzy. Wake up. You, down here. Shoot it. Lights in here, of course. Gizzy has a corpse obsession, but he couldn't find the bodies. So honestly, he's kind of like corpse obsessed, but kind of stupid about it too. Wake up edition. 13.1 days to recover. I mean, you'll have to recover because we sure as shit don't have drugs here. We're poor as fuck. Have you guys seen us? Let's see. Crap. 
crafting, artistic, mostly shooting. Gizzy's like, I love bodies. We're like, do you know where they are? He's like, yeah, yes. We're like, it's okay if you don't know. I know where they are. He screams, I know, I know where the bodies are. Like, you don't know where the bodies are. I know. No, you don't. I know. No, you really don't. Okay, so we're gonna do slate tiles. Bolt goods trader. Wait, is anyone good at social yet? Damn it. Deep can't even talk to people. He is liver. He's a brawler, misandrist, nervous. Well, that's deep to a T right there. Wizard trader. Okay, let's see. What can we buy? We can buy cows. Cows are probably good to buy. We're gonna buy cows. I'm gonna sell. What are we gonna sell? We're selling dog leather, blue fur. We're gonna sell a lot of this leather. Wolf skin, sell that too. We make everything out of cloth anyway. I don't know if cloth is even the best. Let's sell the shirts we've got. So our parka, so the duster. Honestly, that's not a bad trade. Wait, can anyone deal with animals? Holy shit, I forgot. No, not one person can deal with animals. Shit. Uh, okay. Well, let's think here. Screw it. I'll just make a giant cow gate. What's the funny beard guy good at? Who's our funny beard guy? We don't have a funny beard guy. That's a flak jacket if you mean bringas. Lobster? Oh, he's good at not really anything. Oh, no, that's not true. Robin's having dark visions because of the oh, final star was darkness. What do you mean, darkness? It's night! Of course it'll be dark! Is this guy ever gonna get... Like, holy shit. I feel like we've been recruiting this guy my entire life. Deep has inspired creativity. The next item he creates will be perfect. Why did we get a tox bomb launcher? Okay, well that's unusual. Probably not good for a melee focused composition. You're already touching that monolith. You haven't stopped touching it. You're still touching it. In fact, you might be touching it right now. Honestly, I don't even know what you're up to anymore, Deep. Kind of going a bit weird with it. 
shit, our bull already escaped. I paid so much for it. Who does bullshit? Oh, we don't even have a pen, so no one's even allowed to do anything about it. Okay, we got long swords and spears. Now I need armor. Honestly, this base is all coming together, chat. Yeah, I paid so much for these animals, but I mean, I guess in a way, chat, in a way, I set them free to get eaten by a wolf. So, really, it was not worth it at all. Yeah, I don't like abusing the caravan mechanics, because... They, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they do kind of break the game. I don't think they really thought most of them through, to be honest. Ah, <sighs> do we need a daycare for Yup? Deep is in a food binge. Why low psychic drone? I'll ride that thing. How does it break the game? You can do a lot of shit by starting uh, caravans that are not really intended. Are you actually a cook? Oh, you are kind of a cook, aren't you? Hmm. Now that we have more people, let's expand our corn production just a smidgen. Oh, wait, that's rice. Eh, fine, let's do rice. Oh, wait, is that? Okay, so wait, no. No, that's rice. No, this is corn. No, I'm an idiot. I was right the first time. We got lobster. What? Alexander? See, we got two Alexes in chairs. I just call it Alex. It's always going to be one of y'all. We need more anomaly research. Deep needs to touch the monolith more until we get some. I don't have to tell you, you're Beardo now. Let's see, we have that, we got that, we got that. Lab coat, jacket, button down shirt. Okay, production. What do we have here? We got the 
Why do I have two stone cutters tables? Let's see, electric smelter. We already have the uh, tailor bench, we got that. Okay, now we need the smithy as well. Anything, any single thing with awful or poor quality just smelt it to death. As for you guys, okay, so what did I say? We're gonna make halberd. Well, what does it take to make a halberd? 110 iron. Oh boy, well, let's make like four of them bitches. And then I guess we just need all this iron. Okay, well, Alex obliterates iron. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, at a certain point, I should deconstruct these and make it out of stone. Okay. Oh, wait. Bring us is staring at it now. More of you guys are staring at the monolith. And nothing bad is going to happen. Ah, we got Void Provocation. Finally, we can have a summoning ritual spot. We can't provoke the Void quite yet. Uh, we need slate wall, 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 and then slate door. Aren't you at construction 13? How does it take so long to make a goddamn stone door? Okay, chat. Okay, 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 okay. We make a holding cell with a door. We get power to it. We put... A lamp here, a lamp here, a lamp here, a lamp here. What is that a geyser? Why is there a guy? Oh, God damn it. Why is Alex in a daze? 
pessimist, drowsy, hungry, minor pain, uncovered, groin in chest. Well, that's kind of on you, buddy. Slept in the cold. Once again, on you. Uh, no one possibly told you to do that, actually. Kind of weird that you did. Hello, Trifa. How you doing, buddy? No one had to sleep outside in the cold. No, no one actually had to do that, which is the weird part. Oh shit! Are we running out of power? Oh boy. We kind of have to make sure that doesn't happen once we uh. Start summoning devils down, you know, kind of not the greatest thing to have happen. Am I enjoying the DLC? Well, the first time I played through it, I ran into an issue because I started to set up a giga mega base to like start housing all the creatures. And then what happened is it just, uh, it just, uh, Started spamming me with mechanoids. So I finally said fuck it. Mechanoids are turned off because they're stupid as shit and should probably actually be disabled. I, like at this point, I think they should honestly just be disabled for everyone. Mechanoids are terrible. You sent a distress signal from a nearby camp to pack to Menino. No. No, I don't think I want to go there yet. No, I think it's a bad idea. Do we even have weapons yet? No, we haven't managed to make one halberd yet. Seven. We probably could use a few more. How much is it? It's six. Okay, yeah, so. Make sure to put all the doors in here. Ancient danger, rare thrombos, combat supply. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, don't, don't, no one, no one die now. Just, just stop trying to murder each other for one second. Cut down the trees so this thing actually works. We need all the batteries powered as well. How much steel? We have enough steel. Problem is no one actually makes our goddamn weapons though. Which makes us a bit sketchy. We should definitely have some sort of weapons. K. 
Chimera's approach? What? The Mr. Shimmy beats the Watcher Colony, waving for an opportunity to attack. What the fuck is this thing? When, when did this... It's like a Giga Wolf. When... Oh, boy. Who are my crafters? Alex, I feel like you should be smithing and tailoring and crafting. You know how much electricity they'd produce? Yeah, the only problem is, uh, boy oh boy, I don't have a second containment facility done yet. I did not think this was going to happen so quickly. Are we seriously shorting on power, guys? Come on, we, we need consistent power here. No, that, that was right, that was right. Thank you, Treef. I think we joined him, my dude. I appreciate that. Where are the uh, Camaros? No, they're still down there. The hunt for the real chalice. Yeah, we'll work on that eventually. Colonist idle. Why are you idle, Bringus? Two colonists idle. Do you guys not have shit to do? Okay, the Camaras are attacking. Alex, aren't you supposed to be good with melee? Grab that axe. Okay. Everyone kick the shit out of it! Go, go, melee team! Everyone kick the shit out of it! Deep, back out, deep, no, you're down. The yeah, Gizzy, grab him, grab him. Does anyone have any medicine yet? It's literally only Gizzy. Are they dead? They are dead. Oh, we didn't even get to contain them. That is the new music, yeah. Just hit the boom rat. Okay, don't hit the boom rat. Okay, well, I was kind of hoping some of the chimeras would stay alive and we could like... You know. Oh, 
Hold on, do you not... Gizzy, you should have three of these on you at every given point in time. Okay, is everyone healed? I, I feel like... Okay, Alex, you have the second best doctoring, so you also go to a doctoring level one. Mad boom rat. Disease infection. Yes, that's probably what was going to happen. Okay, how is that infection going? That should be fine. I knew one of this was gonna get infected. She seemed obvious. Was kinda hoping to get a Chimera in prison. That would have been cool. Is everyone alive? Everyone seems to be alive. Wait. Bring us as an infection. Bring us, you dumb bitch. Get the fucking bed, you asshole. Gizzy, you gotta... Apparently you gotta, you gotta heal everyone because they're all stupid bitches who get up when they're infected. That should be fine. Yeah, okay. Heal, 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 heal. Who was the other bitch who was infected? Why are you up? I mean, I guess he'll be fine, but don't you guys have, you know, be patients and shit? Why is there a rhinoceros running through my base? It's not that we're running out of power. And we should put some redundancies in our grid. It's not that we're running out of power, it's that the power is getting all screwy. Have we not had a single goddamn weapon made yet? God damn, these halberds are ridiculous to make, apparently. Who's our best at meleeing? Well, it's only Jess. There, okay, now everyone should have... So who are the two people with infections? Bring us as an infection. She'll live. Robin is an infection. He'll live. Okay, we're good. And let's see here. Okay, we're good. We're all good now. We have plate armor. Let's grab machining. Now, how do we build plate? 
Because that's really what we need. Plate armor is a lot of armor. Jesus, or sorry, a lot of iron. Low food. I'm not really sure how. I guess I'll just grow more corn. Rhino self-tamed and then just ran into my house. I was like, all right, I, I, okay. Dude, why does the power turn off all the fucking time? What is happening? Oh my god, it's because the fucking grid broke. Gizzy, I need you to fix the goddamn grid. There we go. Who's our cook? It's Robin. Oh, because Robin went crazy after getting an infection. He lost a bunch of toes and shit. Actually, I think it was a while ago, right? Hmm, yeah. Okay, so we need a summon soon. But uh, everyone kind of got their ass kicked. Climate adjuster for pay. What? A grizzly bear is hunting Alex. I don't think Alex can take a grizzly bear. Alex uh, could not. Uh, dude, playing this game without playing this game on Iron Man would be so lame quote me where's that fucking grizzly bear Aaron get your ass over here kill the shit out of this thing Can you imagine you play for like five hours, then uh, then like a grizzly bear randomly spawns and kills you, and you're like, oh, hmm. Deep, where did you haul the grizzly bear off to? Deep, where did the grizzly bear go? Not exactly the area I thought it would go to, but okay. It's not bad. Can we not eat the chimera? I thought that would be fine. Is, can we not can we not eat the chimera, chat? Butcher creature. Yeah, allow unnatural corpses. Chat, unnatural corpses are fine.
Allow unnatural corpses. Allow strangers. No, humanoids gone. Entity. Yeah, that's totally fine. Jared, it's totally fine. Get in there and butcher them. Yeah, just because it's a chimera doesn't mean it wasn't an animal at some point. Look at this twisted meat. There we go, Chad. That's cook simple meal. Sure, human meat is out, insect meat is out, but twisted meat, Chad? I don't know. Makes a fine meal. There we go. This will be a fine meal, Chad. Just don't tell anyone that they're eating the chimera. Visitor. Ooh, you're not bad. Deep, are you good? You're pretty good at mailing. Arrest this person, Deep. Deep, don't lose now. Come on, Deep. Take him down, Deep. Take him. There we go. You killed him. Okay, Deep, now you pissed off the faction and died. Okay. You know, we're going to summon the Void. Uh, Deep can't summon the Void because he's bleeding. What, did you get a note from your doctor? Okay, deep. Okay. That's it, chat. This is what it's like to be the good guys. Huh. Well, that didn't really do anything, did it? Flush beast attack. Tom's Oh wait, you can summon flesh beasts on enemies. Interesting. Gotta get them all, Chad. Gotta catch them all, Flesh Beast Mon. Oh, God. Get them, boys. Yeah, stab them. Hit them with the axe. Stab them. Is that all of them? One more. That should be everyone. Unfortunately, it's kind of a uh, hmm. What happened to Gizzy? Oh, he's getting fucked up. Oh, that's not good. 
Alex, you're the doctor, right? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we back out, buddy. Alex, the fuck are you doing? Alex, you definitely need to carry medicine on you. Okay, we, we definitely, uh, our, our, our herbal medicine zone needs to be a bit bigger. Now that I'm uh, really analyzing the situation. Meteorite of Slate, wonderful. Another pretty good hellbird. Okay, I'm really hoping. Guys, there's no one. Guys, save Robin, you dumb pieces of shit. He kind of got cut down to pieces. Okay, Gizzy's being a little fucking bitch fuck. Jesus Christ, you guys are stupid. Kids, you'd be like, yeah, I don't feel good. I'm out of here. We don't feel good because you're in pain, much like Robin is. Chat, we didn't get a single goddamn thing, by the way. We didn't get a single god thing, goddamn thing, by the way, we could take. Go rest until healed, Gizzy. You can't be dead. He should be fine, right? Um, ooh, not looking great. 10 quality, 14% was not wonderful. Robin's unconscious, though. So why is it always worst of the worst here? I swear to God. Well... No, it's actually catching up. No, now that he's fed it in bed, he should be fine. I think. Or not. Robin, go do a preach health. Why would you get out of bed? Why would you possibly get out of bed, you dumb piece of shit? Oh boy, this is gonna be a rough one. Kizzy, are you literally the dumbest piece of shit in the world? Or what? Jay, is he literally the dumbest motherfucker to ever exist? Dude's literally going to fucking die. And he's like, nah, I'm gonna I'm quick make some flooring real quick before I fucking die. Who else is infected?
Just gizzy. No, 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 he's fine. We we did preach health, because that's an option, and we're fine. Hostile Lyra. Gizzy, I swear to fucking Christ, if you don't stay in until you're healed, I'll kill you myself. Chad, he's gonna heal it. He just needs to stay in bed and not do dumb shit. I don't know why the AI isn't just like, hmm, maybe I should stay in bed. Like, he's on number one patient, right? Like, he's just patient before he does anything else. And I told him to stay in bed, and bitch is still getting out of bed and being a dumbass. Animal transport pod crash. That's just an ostrich. Okay, and Gizzy is fine. Yeah, that's a good one. Gizzy can't walk. I like how Gizzy... Okay, you know what? You're a dumb bitch. Idiot. So, uh, summoning the void doesn't seem to have helped us at all, chat. We nearly died. It wasn't great. We definitely need more medkids. Monolith stuff? Uh, everyone should be on monolith stuff. We're trying to get draw animals. We need more rituals. Evil rituals. Why is a rhino walking inside? I don't know, Chad. It's Rhino the Rhino. He just does what he wants. No one can stop him. It's not even that we don't want him to. We just can't stop him. He's too powerful. Jess made progress studying the monolith. This structure connects normal space to the void. Wow. Anomaly Monolith. In order to advance Monolith to the next step, you need to discover eight basic tier enemies. Alex is a break risk. Why? Eight twisted meat. What? No, it's just... silly. Oh yeah, we're all, we're all, these are all tier ones. All the monsters we've seen are tier ones. steel do we have? Oh, we have blatantly enough steel. Who's supposed to- Alex, aren't you supposed to be, uh, making us halberds, buddy? You know, your whole thing? Making halberds? For us? Now we're gonna make steel plate armor. Chat! It's a serious question, though. How come... How come... 
We, uh... Look at me can't eat twisted meat. What's so wrong about it? Low medicine? Dude, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, we can't do void provocation yet. Everyone seems to be mad about eating the twisted meat. But I say, taste the meat, not defeat. Okay, so let's see here. We need beds. There's gonna be a medical building right here. Everyone studies the monolith. It's it's on active study duty. Send a colonist to attune to the monolith. Must discover three basic monolith entities. We need more wood. Tattered apparel. What's well, yup? Obviously, his apparel is gonna be tattered, Chad. Let's make these for prisoners then. And then these are all medical beds. Okay, we all have halberds. So, like, we're doing pretty good from that perspective. Like, we need, uh... Wall lamps. Let's get two in here. Honestly, we should probably just bum rush. Growth bed, hospital bed, hydroponics, fire from ID. Where is drug production, medicine production? Where is sterile? Sterile materials. Yeah, let's do that next, actually. Wait, here we go, plate armor. Oh, never mind. Alex is a bitch. Fuck you, Alex. Dumb asshole. Oh boy, uh ooh, this is gonna be one of those awkward type situations. Uh we need heaters.
Yeah, that's good. Wait. Yeah, probably a good idea to vent out from the area I'm heating. Yeah, that's probably a good start. Okay, we have three spaced out heaters. Now all we need to do is finish building and we're good. Why did Deep just immediately grab the armor? Deep, you didn't even need the armor. Just needed the armor. I actually did just need the armor. No, she's wearing flak. Well, only flak, well, a flak vest, and it's true. You getting what's going on? Well, right now we're trying to summon some void monsters. That way we can summon bigger void monsters. Then we can lock them up in the void hole. Uh, after that, I'm not really sure. I haven't gotten that far yet. And we are just setting up lighting and stuff in here. And we're doing a bunch of vents so that heating can continuously go through because it's pretty cold outside, negative nine. And then inside, we're just trying to heat it up enough and keep everyone warm and toasty. See the temperature on the right, by the way. Everyone seems pretty warm and toasty in here. The three heater system seems to be working. That's it. Okay, it's time for void provocation. Deep lead us in a chant. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Void provocation complete. Okay, let's see what comes next. Hopefully not void monsters. But then again, we did, you know. All my colonists are idle. Probably because we kind of ran out of shit to do. Ghoul. It is intent on inhuman savagery and cannot feel pain. You know what? I'm going to make it feel. Four halberds. Well, it's running past. Wow, that was. Huh. Honestly, expected better. Ghoul infusion, ghoul enhancements, ghoul resurrection. Interesting. Wait, it can't bleed. That's interesting. Now we study it. 
Deep, study the ghoul. Study it. Study it. Study that ghoul deep. Does it just heal automatically? Huh. It can't be bandaged. It can't be killed. It just heals. Interesting. Gizzy's got nothing to do with no construction going on. Oh shit, Gizzy, if you got nothing to do, buddy. I suppose we could, uh... So we got entity containment next. The more light we have on it, and the tougher the walls, the better the containment strength. Yeah, we're not experimenting on them. That's not that's not that's not what we're doing. We're just poking them with sticks and seeing if it hurts. And if it doesn't hurt, then we're trying to figure out why it doesn't hurt. Why is Gizzy wearing plate armor? I don't know. I keep making plate armor and everyone keeps yoinking it from me. I guess we'll just keep making more plate armor if everyone's gonna keep grabbing it. What do we get from ghoul, though? Ghoul, ghoul. Ghoul infusion. Study a natural... Okay, perform a surgery that infuses a living person with an Arcotech shard, transforming them into a terrifying ghoul. Ghouls are strong melee combatants, but are incapable of doing work. Ghouls will go mad if they're not fed enough raw meat. No, chat, we're not making you guys ghouls. Okay, we need sterile floors here. We just used all our silver, though, but it'll be sterile. No, we're not making anyone a ghoul. Oh, we could make the kid a ghoul. You're right, chat. Then what happens, I wonder? He, uh, we can't bandage him, he just slowly heals. So actually, there's no way to kill him. Oh shit, we got Eugene. What do you do well, Eugene?
Oh wait, Eugene does animals. And planting. That's good, we needed more planting, said nobody. Hello, Mars. How you doing? How's work? Jet, we need to understand how you beat a ghoul. In order to do that, we need to kidnap a ghoul, tie them down, and stab them repeatedly and see if they keep healing. I don't know how else you would do it. Well, we don't have any capybaras. But if we get a capybara, you could be a capybara. No, you are not eaten by a ghoul. We can't just get a capybara. Why are you in a daze? Oh, cause he's in wake up addiction. Why do you have wake up? Oh my god. We don't have drugs. See, so Deep goes and he studies it. He just, he looks at it, tortures it a bit, sees if it keeps healing. This is for science, chat. We're the good guys. Remember that. Remember that always. We are always the good guys. We can't just get a capybara. They're hard to get. They're only from certain biomes. I don't think there's any guinea pigs here either. It's been really cold for a while. All the small animals probably died, or ran away. No, we can't move. We just started setting up our... ...lab. Why are we on low food? Hunt alpacas. Hunt everything, guys. Do I need to tell them all the melee attack one at a time? You need to go where the cap- I don't think the capybars and the guinea pigs hang out together though. Who's the cook again? Robin. We did not eat the pet, did we? No, we didn't eat the pet guinea pig, did we? I don't believe we did. That doesn't sound like us. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, the guinea pig got... Every guinea pig we have kept getting eaten. Oh, uh, but it wasn't us doing it. It was the other people kept eating the guinea pigs. 
We were just minding our own business and then like tigers and shit kept leaping at the guinea pigs. And I was just trying to have like guinea pigs around the area. Unfortunately, having small defenseless critters walking about just made all the predators run up and eat them for free. We didn't eat it. It was like a wolf and one time it was a, an entire grizzly bear. Oh, and, the, uh, and then there's the time the, the evil cultist went crazy and shot a bunch of the guinea pigs. We did not eat any guinea pigs. There's zero guinea pigs eaten. It's gonna take 10 days to recover from that? Oh, man. Oh, wait. I can't even provoke yet. Yeah, we have a pet rhino. It's called Rhinoceros 1. We don't have a name for it. It just sort of showed up and just never left. Okay, we can't do void provocation yet, but I really like this ghoul. The ghoul research is, is good. Okay, we got entity containment. Let's see, so what does that give? Okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, let's deconstruct you. Now let's go ahead and build an actual holding platform here. Okay, let's transfer him to here. Okay, and then we'll pull the real f platform here next to the rhino is visiting the ghoul. Thank you. Monolith study complete. Okay. Can it stop being winter? We're kind of, uh... I'm not saying we're running out of food, but we don't exactly have a large supply of food. I mean, we have lots of animals around, I'll give you that. Deep, you're, you're being converted by a five-year-old. Deep, a five-year-old is, is managing to convince you that your religion is wrong. provoke the void again honestly does it really matter who's in the chant all right we're teaching the five-year-old to summon demons chat
Wait, what just happened? Eugene ended up being... Oh, god damn it. Guys, Eugene is a traitor. And he has our plate armor and axe. A gr death gray cloud is descended on the area. The cloud is made of microscopic self-powered archites created by some unknown super intelligence. Where they land on dead flesh, they will enter the body and reanimate it to create a twisted imitation of life. I'm pretty sure we got them all. Chat. Oh wait, he's dead. Oh. Wait, it's resurrecting animals. Wait, even the skeletons. Huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, how long does this last? Bring is so fucking stupid. He's getting his ass beat by a goddamn horse. Why is it so tanky? If it's dead, does... Oh, god damn it. Shouldn't you be dead? How do we burn the body? Hold on, we need a crematorium. We don't have the technology for a crematorium? Oh no, we do. We need a slate crematorium. And we need... We need it powered, obviously. And then we need to zone it to be outside on the roof, even if we don't put it on the roof. Will it just revive the horse again, I wonder? In the brass's deep glimpse, something horrifying beyond human understanding. The psychic darkness shocked her into a long-term coma. Deep, get the fuck up! Oh, God damn it. Why is the horse alive again? How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man?
Oh my god, and the Shambler is back. Yeah, we captured a horse. I'm not, I'm not really sure this is the scientific study that needed to be done, but uh, we sure did it. We are indeed going to need more cages as of now. Yes, it's uh... Oh god, it's back! Huh. It broke the door. When does the fog end? Gizzy, I need I need you to build the crematorium, buddy. We got a lot of shit to chuck into the flames, is all I'm saying. Well, you don't like the robots showing up to show up to show up to show up to show up in infinite loops of them just showing up over and over as you get more and more exasperated. Oh, for the love of God. Bring us your fucking pathetic. I'm really glad I built all these plate armors, though. Maybe, maybe we stop hunting for a second, you know? Gizzy, you absolute dumbass. Finish the fucking crematorium! Oh, of course they're back. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Cremate corpse. Any rotten corpse. Oh, that one can get captured though. Well, no, it can't because. Oh, hold on here. We'll just put up a temporary holding spot for now. It's just gonna revive if we don't capture it, so we might as well, right? Oh, 
Okay, well, we shoved something in there for now. We are, we are coming closer to an understanding. Who's being attacked? God damn it, y'all. Why is he even over there? Oh, that's fine, we'll just toss it in. Wait, does that mean if we die, we become zombies too? This event could very much snowball. When does it end? Or is this just my life now? Haul it. Haul it into the fire. Alex has gotten a corpse obsession. Amazing, Alex. Go find some for me, buddy. No, seriously. Oh, you fucking idiot! Chuck it in! Chuck it in the fire! No, don't go bury it again! Oh, god damn it! The pall of death is lifting. Yeah, can we get some food? We're kind of starving over here. Kind of, uh... Everything seems to be tainted with death. They're both wearing such heavy armor, they can't actually damage each other. Now what? Insufficient containment. Yeah, I know. We're building it. When's it gonna not be winter? All it ever is is winter. I'm tired of winter. Okay, go back to hunting. Apparently it's our only source of food at the moment. Not really sure how much studying we get done on a horse. What do I do with the horse? I'm not sure. What happens if we release it? Does it just die? We actually get a lot of bioferrite out of it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this horse is like the most profitable thing we have.
Biofurite is what we use to create the, uh... Super weaponry. And... Technology and some other stuff, too. Actually, running low on food. It's it's a bit of an actual issue this time about. this one get? This one doesn't get as much. The ghoul barely gives us any. The horse gives us the most. This guy doesn't give us much. Wait, ghoul attacking? Another ghoul? Kick the shit out of him, guys! He can't get through our plate armor. We're actually super tanky. Easy. Everyone is uh, shockingly okay with everything happening here. Like, no one's having a mental break because we keep, uh, fighting the undead. Okay, I'm noticing our food supplies are not going up. Hmm. Why is it still winter? Chet, I, have you guys noticed that it's been winter for, like, a bizarrely long time for a, uh, temperate environment? Am I the only person who's noticed that it has been winter for way too long? Cause, uh... It has been winter for way too long. Okay, I didn't think we were have to fight every buffalo at the exact same time. I don't think we beat this one. Okay, I, I, I thought they would aggro one at a time. What does a monster generate? Uh... 
What does it generate? It generates like stuff. It's like stuff. We give him the old sucky. He generates stuff. I, did, I, I thought they aggroed one at a time, so I thought, like, oh, I'll just get three people and just beat the shit out of them. Nope. Yeah, I know we have low food, fellas. All right, it's gonna be a regular brawl chat. Take him down, boys! Is Grizzly my doctor? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, when well, there's no machines, because machines suck in this game. Disease infection on who? Robin? No, I think he's fine. For some reason, you want know just go, just go rest. Do we not actually have any medicine? No, we do not. We're just relying entirely on Gizzy having a high medical skill. What's what's he bandaging the wounds with then? Like his hands? Is he just is he just pinching the wounds really hard? So inside my house. I don't know. I just kind of got here. Who's the cook again? Who, who's, who's that cook? That cook. Who's that cook? Robin. Robin, get the fuck out of bed. Wait, are you the one with the infection? Okay, Robin, stay in bed, I guess. But also, get the fuck to work. Alex can cook technically. Okay, there we go. We got all the food frozen. We should be good. That's five muffalos in there, Chad. That's 600 meat. Oh, good. A drought is here. 
Amazing. Insufficient containment. How? Why is our containment string so bad? These slate walls and everything. Okay, we're giving them all the suck here, chat. Oh boy, cultists. They intend to use a psychic ritual to abduct a colonist via teleportation. They might perform the ritual multiple times. Oh shit, there's five of them bitches. Get your halberd! Are you guys like the dumbest bitches ever? Is, is that just like, is it just a recurring theme? Where everyone is just fucking stupid. Dude, I fucking hate this game. Is there something I can click where like people don't just run right into opposing camps and just fucking kill themselves for free? Like what the shit, dude? Like what was he even what 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 was he doing? What what are your jobs that you were possibly up there? Plants? Melee? Art? What were you doing, buddy? Okay, so we have way too much plate armor, but it's probably for the best. We're getting good research now that uh, we have a lot of test subjects. We're figuring out, chat, what makes them undead? What makes a man undead? Oh boy, that is a raid. See what I mean, chat? Look how much more interesting it is when the raids aren't just like... Like, imagine I can set the difficulty up higher because I'm not just gonna get fucked over. Oh boy, um... Are they shooting my rhino? Oh god! Can you guys kill him? God damn! The rhino! Why are they targeting that rhino? What is wrong with the- Oh god, everyone's going down, Jet. Where is your halberd? Oh boy, it's all the way up there. Wait, Deep is just dead. Uh, 
how did deep die i don't you get shot in the torso once and the rib cage one you literally got shot twice and died and i i don't understand it dude is that the weird system you guys talk about? Like, you literally have a chance that you just fucking die when you take damage. You just have a chance to just die. That's kind of lame. Deep was, uh, kind of important to this mission. Okay, well, we're down a deep. Wait, that actually puts us only at five real people now. Hmm. That's not great. Can you preserve, can you preserve his body and eventually resurrect him? Maybe. Hold on. If we bury deep. Chad, if we bury deep. Why are you bring? We can eventually dig him up later, chat. Or do we need his flesh? Corpses, human like colonist. Chat, I kind of want to see if we can resurrect him. Allow colonist corpses. Allow fresh. Why can't we put them in here? We allow colonist corpses. Allow the dead body of colonists, right? Why can't we toss them in there? This is prio critical. This is prio normal. But I don't want all human like. I just want colonist. Otherwise, they'll start tossing everybody in there. They will not allow me to put deep in here. But Chad, the prio is critical. I literally just showed you the prio. But if I turn humanoid on, I don't want everyone in here. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, okay, we got deep tossed in. Okay, we got deep in here. All right, Jeff, we got deep in here. We're just gonna keep him frozen for a little bit.
We're gonna we're gonna see if later on we can maybe bring him back. Now everyone gets sad when they grab food. Okay, fine. Let, let's make a little deep hole. Okay, let's turn off human like here. Alright, Gizzy, I need you working on this. Critical Colonist Unnatural It has to be colonist unnatural Human Only colonists Allow rotten or allow fresh You guys, okay Yeah, move deep Put them in the deep hole There, now everyone just, just leave deep in here for a bit, chat He's <laughs> just we're just, we're just, we're, we're just testing a theory, okay? We're just seeing if we can bring them back later on. We're gonna get raided. The raiders are gonna be like, oh my god. These people are fucking crazy. They were keeping their dead friends in a hole. My rhinoceros died. Yeah, that was to be expected. Entity escape. Oh, for love of God. Okay, we need an actual containment field then. Um... Just be dead. Oh shit, it just straight up died, died. Dang. What is this thing? Is that a human? What is this? Wait, there's. Br oh, it's bring us carrying a deer. Donkey. I'm like trying to look at this thing like, what the fuck? Is there like something trying to pretend to be my ally?
Come on, chat. Study the ghoul. We need to study the ghoul. Come on, we need we need ghoul technology. Oh, well, shoot. You're gonna have to put down the assault rifle then. Cause we are, we're kind of halberd people here. He converted to our religion, which means he now has our uh, religious ways. The electric smelter. Smelt weapon. Uh, let's see here. Any weapon with quality awful to normal do forever. Okay. Well, we had the stockpile zone expanding. Yeah, we're expanding the stockpile zone, chat. We need to get rid of these weapons. Steal Ikta. Smelt weapon. Clear all. Melee weapon. Axe, baton, battle axe, breach axe, club, combat knife, gladius, not halberd, hammer, hatchet, ikta, knife, not long sword, mace, shovel, spear, not warhammer. You know, while we wait for deep to get back, we kind of need more people. Hmm. And Peros is a forty nine year old construction worker. Well, how far away is he? Screw it. Let's get to it, Albert boys. I consider void abductions. Um, I don't know. I mean, we got some stuff. We don't really have that much stuff. We're gonna go to the prisoner camp and we're gonna beat the shit out of that. Who's left here? Let's see, we got Yup, Gizzy, and Deep. Dead for 3.6 days. Why is it still goddamn cold here? Does it ever get warm on this planet? Oh, it's supposed to be cold for like 20 days. What the fuck happened? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try to inject ghoul DNA in grape. We're gonna do electro harvester, then we need biofarite shaping. Then we have ghoul infusion.
Not everyone can be a ghoul. It takes... From what I've read, it takes a void crystal to do it. And those are super goddamn rare. Not a void crystal, but a, a shard. There we go, a void shard. Super rare, actually. Like, not, not even remotely common. Yeah, actually, what if we just inject the horse DNA inside him? That could work. Chair, we put the horse DNA inside him, and then he'll become part zombie horse. Wait, was there a shuttle here? Did th did they walk out just to get their ass beat? What was the point of that? They're actually really good. No, they have a death acidifier on their body. If we kill them, everything they t have turns to acid. Horrible trait. Greedy, beautiful, fast learner. Okay, you guys, go from here, reform caravan. Was that my home? Yeah, that's my home. Uh, let's see, take everyone here. Take the prisoner. Let's see, we don't have much to carry. Take the charge rifle, the plasma sword. The mono sword. <laughs> Trust supplies. Take the meal. The meal, the meal, the meal, the meal. Take all the meals. And. That's it. Go! Do you have anyone good in social yet? I don't think so. See, Jay, we're sucking all the biopharite out of them. Just gotta suck them. We're gonna need to summon more. They attack? No. What? You got two guardsmen? You think you can kick the shit out of me? No, fuck you guys. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Is 
That's the dumbest shit I've seen. It was like an idiot parade. I don't even know a better way to put it. Hakuja is unwaveringly loyal to their home. Chet, why did they put so many penalties and so many reasons that like you can't use people? That's okay. Can we do ritual sacrifice? Like it's fine. If, if they want to be dicks, it's fine. Can we do public execution? Yeah, we don't enslave here. Okay? We don't enslave. Yes, this is this is a dead horse, yes. We are sucking the dead horse of its juices. I don't really know why or how, we just are. We don't eat people. We don't enslave people. We don't eat people. Jet, we're like an SCP foundation. We're the good guys. We don't feed babies to the void tree either, chat. Um, Hakuja. Hakuja, I believe Robin. No, you know what? I'll make Gizzy do it. Oh, he's incapable of violence. You know, we'll have Jess. No. Oh. Screw it. Why not, Robin? You're the sheriff anyway. Awkward public execution. The public execution was awkward. The speech dragged on and when it came time to strike, the executioner slipped and barely recovered. None of it felt justified. Okay. Chat, our execution got ranked awkward. I'll be honest. I'm not sure how we recover from this one as a cult. So what does the new guy do? You're a constructor. We already have a constructor. One of the best, in fact. Well, you're an okay doctor, so that actually is pretty good. <laughs> he died too fast. Wasn't even fun. No screaming, no suffering. Waste of my time. One out of five stars. They have, they have like a Yelp review. The camp is controlled by the trash army. Yeah, sure, fuck it, why not? Hey, we just need Burge us. What, why are you, because your left index finger got bitten off in the fight and now you're all pissy. 
Chat, is that an excuse? Wait, that's an actual charge rifle. Wait, we got an actual charge rifle. Holy shit. Bloodbringer Persona Monosword. Wait, what? Once bonded to a wielder, the weapon's persona will refuse to be wielded to anyone else. Weapon has a following trait. Psychic Fog. This weapon surpasses the wielder's psychic... Sur suppresses the wielder's psychic sensitivity by 30%. This only, only applies when weapon is held. Calm thoughts. This weapon's persona is relaxed and steady. It whispers calming thoughts to whoever it's bonded with, increasing their mood. Okay. None of these sound bad. Persona bonded. Just as have a bond with the persona of Bloodbringer. Persona Munner Sword. What the fuck does that mean? Ted, did I just found... Log Logarsum 12.22 Wait, who's our second best melee combatant? Well, it was deep, but well, you know You know Okay, Alex, you get Logarsum Fast move You get 15% faster Psy meditative You can focus on psychic meditation What is this shit, chat? I've never seen this shit before in my life why do we have like fucking like Warhammer 40k master crafted weapons and shit now? You hold the sword, the Bloodbringer is like, you are good. People like you. People talk well about you. People say good things about you. Murder your friends. Your family is conspiring against you. Get them before they get you. Okay, which one's the ones we need? Wait, where did he did that? Oh, because we didn't kill the other one, so it doesn't... Huh, that's amusing. Ancient complex, gold site, peace talks, bandit camp. There's a bandit camp we need to go to. So, uh... Chat, as a quick question, is this like a permanent thing? Like, like, can you continuously make these so-called master crafted late game giga weapons or what? Wait, so you can only find them? That's kind of lame. Your social skills suck, Gizzy. You got a certainty down by 1%. She's basically gonna earn that back in the next three microseconds. I'm not gonna do peace talks. It's just gonna be an ambush. It's always an ambush. I don't know if it is an ambush, but it'll be an ambush. Trust me. Honestly, kid, get that rifle. There we go, chat. By giving the Six-year-old and assault rifle. We're guaranteed victory in the next fight.
Moving through the mountains is uh, not very fast. Yeah, we're just sort of sitting here waiting. Uh, what other production buildings can we build? Nothing else. Oh, it just smelled there. Yep. Oh, we already have the machining table. Oh my god, we're not even moving. I recommend the DLC. I mean, it's $25, which is a bit of an ask to get like slightly different progression that doesn't I mean I could sit here and I guess I could continuously do void provocation I mean it's good from that perspective you just have to ask yourself is it worth more how much food do we still have Time for real melee men to get in here. And I guess plasma rifle girl. Man, you guys gave up so quick, we didn't even have time to do anything. Construct these and just take the materials with us. Was that it? Huh. Why is there a shambler in my colony? Was good. Hmm. We, uh. I just realized we don't have any defenders back home. Which is actually kind of an issue now that I think about it. Because, uh. If we're to be invaded, we literally have nothing. Yeah, yup. Well, I mean, I do have the kid with the rifle. Yeah, I have the kid with the assault rifle. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, God damn it. That's exactly what I was worried about. Run! Fend him off, yup! Uh, 
can we just like go on a caravan and sprint out of here? You two, and literally nothing else. Yeah, it's uh, ah. Uh. He's actually learning up. Oh, he got up. Oh. Now what? Oh, this is a dick move. Huh? I actually do have to reload save. That's lame. I thought I could just leave and they would just like burn some shit maybe. No, nope, they just they just go for the kill. Normally like if I normally if you just like walk away from your base, they'll just run up, maybe blow up some expensive shit and be done. I was like, whatever, maybe I lose like two wind turbines. Nope, they like chased me down. I'm like, okay. Maybe we have to research turrets. So that we have a safe house. What? Mad squirrel. I don't think the kid's gonna be able to take him down. I mean, I'll bring him in close. Come on, kid, you got one shot. One chance to blow. There we go. Wait, are you guys still here? Wait, no, you guys never moved in. Wait, what? Oh, that hurt. Thank you. 
Are you alive? Wait, he's good at social though. Wait, you don't have medicine anymore? Terrifying hallucinations. Um... It's gonna be like an all day thing. I kind of just need you to like, yeah, there we go. Shit, the guy I wanted you to heal is dead now too. Are you gonna are you gonna try, buddy? What are you what are you doing? It broke deep out. Huh. That's not good. Deep isn't about to have a body anymore. Does, uh, does the flesh beast go away? Now, oh, god damn it, I need that cream. Oh, it's the most expensive thing in my base! You bitch! Invest more into long range? No. We made a melee only faction. Oh, it's actually just going to sprint us down. Okay, like the only thing I can do here, if I, the only thing I can do here is make a caravan with these people and just sit them there. Or else I'm going to end up in an awkward state where I'm going to have to spend 20 minutes running away from that thing at one speed. And I don't think you guys want to watch that. So. We're going to have to form a caravan with these two. And then just. Why do you give the child the gun? Well, because Gizzy's a pacifist. He doesn't fight, apparently. I'll be honest, this, uh, this assault here is kind of just not worth it at all.
Who's my constructor in this group? want to kill that turret because it could accidentally shoot me once and then that's just what Wait, now the area is safe? That's so weird. Is he trying to free his ghoul friends? Don't free deep. His body needs to be chilled. Huh. This ghoul is quite annoying. Okay, going on adventures kind of doesn't seem profitable anymore. That's a raid? That's one dude and he's gonna go fight the ghoul and get his shit canned. Now this is just being mean. do can you fucks wake up can I got shit to do dude there is like no way that going out in the world map is profitable at this point well it's just gonna be annoying to rebuild it's like attacking the lights just to annoy me you just need more people but then if I have more people for bigger raids then they'll just raid me with bigger raids thereby negating the amount of people well you spoil in 1.6 days but I think you're okay is it ever gonna get bored I might as well try to remember what broke.
It broke my goddamn poker table. Now why? Why would it break my poker table? Well, the prisoner died. Okay, I'll be honest, the, the amount of shit I'm gonna have to click here. Just to rebuild this is like not worth it. Do I not have a save from earlier? Before I even did this shit. It's like not worth it to go out on the map. It's really not. Shamblers do not approach. Cause shamblers never actually do anything. I guess that's the funny part. Disease gut worms. Yeah, shamblers always just sit there. It's really weird. I guess it's not weird, it's just expected. But I guess the gist is that they don't actually approach. I think they have a one day DK timer as well. So if you literally just sit here and do nothing, they just die. Mad squirrels. Are they gonna run into the shamblers and die? Oh shit, he got taken down by mad squirrels. Why was he out here? What was there to do out here? Um, I can't really go outside the base. So, huh. Looks like Jump might be dead here. Okay, how about we just draft you and you stay completely still and don't die like a dumbass? The kid will bury the kid.
Well, the kid did do a lot of hauling, I guess. Wait. These are all evil squirrels, they have to die. Is that all the evil squirrels? And the shamblers decayed, as they do. Who is she here? There's a gold camp here with one person, a gold camp here with four people. Oh, that's a component mining, so 19 components. How do I get- I- what I need is I need animals. That's what I need. I need animals that can carry shit. I need animals that carry shit so I can send teams out. All we need to do now is provoke the void again. I don't know what they're gonna do with the dead kid, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, we should probably just leave him outside. I think that's for the best. That's what he wanted. <laughs> oh Well, we don't have deep now to lead the uh prayer Well, if the mist hits us that's pretty much the worst one The worst one so far. True. True. True on a technicality. Gore Hulk. Two Gore Hulk. Oh shit. What, are they kiting? Are they running away? Get back here, you fuck. Wait, they are kiting. Not the way they're really trying to. Runs out of the mist, sprints out, and screams, I am an amalgamation of seize my sword. No oh god.
Let's keep the lights on that one. We're giving him the suck. 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 Dear yeah, Amias, you have a plant of zero. Shit, there was another one. Is it seriously kiting? Dude, you are literally a flesh monstrosity. Stop being a bitch. Well, I'll be honest, uh, th this has been a lucrative catch. Kizzy, I'm gonna need you to finish this wall, buddy. What the hell? Wait, now, now I'm gonna need you to finish this. Whoever broke that. The Gorhulk has died. Oh, they all died. Huh. Imagine that. Do we, do we burn their bodies now? What do we do with them? Damn, that was gonna be so much suck. So, uh, what happens when we tuned the monolith this time? I guess, I guess we're just eating it. Okay. I mean, it was made of flesh. Chat. It was made of flesh. So, I mean... It's edible. We did need the food. 
So, uh, do we attune with the monolith chat? Who best to attune? Jess, I want you to go attune with the monolith. Okay, what, what does this do, then? Attuning to the monoliths caused it to twist and grow once more. As it did, Jess caught a glimpse of what lurks beyond. She understood the monolith's doorway, opening wider by your actions. On the other side, Jess sensed an inhuman intelligence of vax complexity and endless rage. The dark machine god is stirring. Its physical influence will grow. New entities are now discoverable. Grey Paul. But we got smoke again. No, no, it's a different smoke, I can tell. Plus, most corpses are already burnt anyway. I I've been pretty good on the, the corpse burning. Grizzly is hunting Gizzy. Well, that's why he's wearing the plate armor. Can they even get through the plate armor? No, they literally can't, he's just getting bruises. Yeah, well, this time we're eating them. We got We have to. We had to eat them. Well, no one wants to put the grizzly bear out of its misery, so I guess you're just watching it uh, bleed out. I guess it's fertilizing our crops with its blood. Kind of brutal. Is he hunting with a laser rifle? That just feels overkill. Someone should really go get that delicious hunk of flesh. There we go. A wide piece of terrain has been sinking into the depths, forming into a deepening hole. At this rate, it will deepen out of sight within a day. You can hear inhuman shrieks rising from the depths. Moves buildings and items away from the emergence point. Okay. Pit gate open. The pit gate will remain open until you collapse its entrance. Explore the pit gate to find a way to collapse it from underneath and find useful items in the under cave. Flesh beach emergence.
Dude, that guy got taken down like instantly. Guys, assist! Assist! No, that was a good idea. The pit gate's fine. These people don't really doctor. Honestly, there's one thing about this game that I kind of actually really get annoyed by. Doctors have a huge tendency to not doctor for, for literally no reason. They will frequently not doctor when they're supposed to be doctoring, which causes situations like this, where you're like, you're a doctor on a one priority, and they're like, Eh! And you're like, what? And they're like, eh! I need to go farm these crops. And you're like, but you're a doctor. Doctor's doctor. And they're like, eh! Crops. Uh, we need electro harvesters. Why would I build defenses? I am the defenses. Honestly, the biggest complaints I have about this game The fucking machine spam that hits once you're into mid game and doctors not doctoring Okay, everyone's starting to get pissy about me not bearing deep My friend deep died Oh deep he cared about you How do you have tattered apparel? What tattered apparel are you wearing? Pants. But... Wait, it just occurred to me? Burn apparel with 50% hit points. I forgot to do that, and because we didn't do that, we have a shitload of useless gear. Cougar hunting Jess.
Well, that was, uh, unproductive. Special power super conversion. Kind of failed. Didn't do much. Eject the bioferrite we've been harvesting. Build the electro harvesters. Let's see. I'm only getting 200 watts from that. That's useless. Here we're getting 480 watts. Ooh wee. I feel like we kinda have to go bury them. Deep, you get buried here. Yup, you get buried here. Eighty watts, but how about this one? Why is this one not built? Because we don't have the bioferrite for it. Damn, we're not getting nearly enough bioferrite. We just eject it all. We only get to build two energons. We need more void creatures, chat. Okay, well, we gotta do... We need to start setting up some more lamps out here. Uh, I reloaded to before the pit. I noticed too late that my doctor wasn't doctoring, and he just left the one dude bloodied on the ground and walked past him. And I was like, okay, my bad. Doctors just sometimes don't doctor. I don't know. People always say, oh, it's because of XYZ. If you did this very specific thing, it would have worked. But it's always like, why don't doctors just doctor by default? Like, that should be their default action. Doctors should just doctor. Kitty. Come here. Kitty. Like, I shouldn't have to set it up where it's like, oh, no, but actually... He doesn't do it because of this reason. It's like doctors should doctor. By default, doctors should doctor. That's kind of like really important to this game's uh, overall balance, you know? Doctors should just doctor. This mod common sense. I found that mod makes it better, but you'll still every so often get just really jank situations where doctors just don't doctor and you're just sitting there like, okay. It's like, I don't know a better way to put it. It's like. Kitty. You're the one who's making me try to grab you. And then you get upset when I have to grab you and then. Kitty. I try to grab her, and then she gets upset because I try grabbing her. And she's like, ow. And I'm like, kitty. 
And she's like, ow, oh, pick me up now. I'm like, I was trying to. And she's like, yeah, but you hurt me. I'm like, cause kitty, you run away and try to make me grab you. And she's like, ow. Oh. And she gives her squeakiest meow. Her squeakiest little meow, which goes me. Other cats go mew, mew. Kitty goes me. Okay, well, we should mine this out. We should honestly take care of this entire area back here before it becomes an issue. That'd be for the best, I feel. My friend Deep died. Are these steel? These are steel walls. Huh. Didn't know that. Coming back? Yeah, he's coming back. What do I do with all this ludicrous amount of jade? There's some weird trees here. Yeah, I think some of them uh, eat people. Probably. Mm hmm. We'll consume corpses and meat placed nearby. And then what? And then what does it do? I'm not trying to strengthen the tree. In tribal myth, these trees are the emissaries of a shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean. The myth ends after the shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. Okay. Am I allowed to cut them down? I'm kind of afraid if I go try to chop them, they'll just chop me. Uh, no, see, they, they bleed and then... Yeah, it seems they uh, start bleeding and forming meat after you chop them down. Highly unusual for a tree to do that. Only seen that once or twice in my life, really. Let's go provoke the void. Oh. Gizzy got knocked out. Anyone want to go save Gizzy, or we just we just letting him die? Or, you know, I don't. Blood rain. You discover a blood rain has yielded new insights. You can now research the following anomaly projects: blood rain, neurosis pulse, drops of thick blood-like fluid will begin falling from the sky. Anyone exposed to a growing anger, which strengthens mainly attacks, will eventually become a broke. Berserk rage. Exposed animals will eventually become manhunters. The intensity of the effect varies between individual depending on their traits, psychic sensitivity, and individual factors. Wait, every animal becomes a manhunter? Huh. Just 
Chat, that's more than one. Alex, I think we stay inside for now, my dude. You're being attacked by a bunny. And a squirrel. And a rhinoceros. Holy shit. Okay, a lot of these effects are pretty bad if you aren't uh, prepared for them. Like holy shit. It just it just you, you just die. Okay. Let's try let's try a different one. Let's let's roll the fuck me a roulette here apparently. What do we got this time? Last time we tried, this time we tried. Let's see what we got this time, eh? What do we got here, chat? Let's see. We got blood rain, we got a tunnel. What are we gonna hit? I'm thinking, maybe the tunnel again. I like the tunnel. And I hope the tunnel. My rhino's been dead for a long time. What killed my rhino, chat? I can't even remember. Twisted obelisk. A mysterious obelisk is crashed nearby. The obelisk comes with putrid psychic energy gradually intensifying as it approaches some dangerous limit. You can send colonists to suppress the obelisk to prevent it from activating. You can also mark the obelisk or study to learn its purpose and perhaps make use of it. You can always attack the obelisk to destroy it, but doing so may unleash an unnatural and dangerous phenomena. Study it. It belongs in a museum. The hell happened to Jess? Plague? Oh my fucking god. You dumb asshole. Now oh, the preach health should do it. Yeah, that should be good. Yep. She just needs to not walk around and die with the plague. It's fine. 99 to 99%. It's fine, chat. I think last time she probably didn't have a 20% Wait, did we? We did do the void provocation, right? So... Was it just the monolith? 
the obelisk, my bad. So now what? It sits there, menacingly, staring into me, staring into my soul. And now what? I don't know. I mean, I could study it. I think studying it, activity. Problem is, Jess is our last intellectual. Alright, Jess, I'm gonna need you to go study the uh, dark evil obelisk of doom. No, nonsense. This is not the dead space relic. This is the e the happy relic of happiness. I literally couldn't give a shit. They're like giving me like regular ass quests and I'm like, yeah, I'd like to do the cool shit though. My friend Jump died. Jump was not your friend, don't lie. Oh, you are turning the heaters off. The sky is dimming, so it'll be hard to see anything that isn't directly lit by lamps or torches. Built well-lit areas to survive. Crap, disruptor flare packs to explore the darkness. What? That's like the most ambiguous shit I've ever heard in my life. What, what did that mean, chat? Gizzy, I'm gonna need you to wake up and put some, uh, lights on the outside of the base, buddy. The sun is dimming. I don't have defensive technologies. Gun turrets are all the way out here. Insane ramblings bring us. Okay, chat, we got lights all the way outside the base. Darkness soon. The darkness is almost here. Only those in direct light from lamps, torches, or flares will be safe. To keep colonists in light, you can restrict the movement in the schedule tab by assigning allowed areas.
This should definitely not be home. And this should definitely not be home. That is not home. Anything behind here? Not home. Up here? Not home. Back here? You guessed it. Not home. Let's, uh... Put some wall lamps outside this area as well. That should basically cover everything, right? Deep is frozen. He's waiting zombification, chat. We have plenty of lights. Unnatural darkness. An unnatural darkness is descending. Inhuman things move just outside the light. Pillars of jagged oily metal are falling from the sky. They are terrible to look upon, but surely contain valuable technology. Reach them by building well-lit paths and destroy them to end this nightmare. Just grab your sword. I don't have floodlights. Yo, being is, you might want to uh, stop muttering incomprehensible thoughts and walk back in, buddy. Necrolith. Necrolith. You know, I feel like all the animals around us have uh, surely been massacred at this stage. So, I mean, we're not being attacked or anything. Well, they surely didn't like that. Where is home area?
The obelisk is going a little bit nuts, I won't lie to you. Gizzy, you are fucking stupid as fuck. The obelisk is activating. It fills the grizzly as an energy as the air crackles around it. It is about to self-destruct in a great explosion. Before it does, it will use its hideous transformative power on any creature it can detect. wake everyone up for this one come on is it dead it is dead you guys go back in Okay, I mean, that worked out. We just have to keep... Well, the thing about this is it's actually, like, testing your base, so to speak, instead of just, like... Instead of just, like... Um... Oh my god, robot attack number 999. I better hope you have pulse lasers near her. It's like, okay, well you need enough supplies and medicine and food and all that to continue to go through here. You need enough light. You need to keep your area going. Noctal, the darkness has begun to stir and human chittering sounds emerge from somewhere within the inky black. Black insight like Noctals will attack from the darkness soon. Oh, the obelisk blew up. Oh, we're studying it. How good are these guys? Noctal. That's what we know, chat. Uh... Oh! Well, we need to continue to research shit. Is it dead?
Well, he beat the fuck out of it. Capture the Noctol. Wait, they actually took out the light. Remember, I had light here. Imagine I get a solar flare right now. Well, the only problem is we kind of have a lot of bandages on right now. A prophetic assembly? Yeah, I literally don't- It's like the core system doesn't really understand what's happening here. Well, the only problem... We need 18 more research. Let's see, you're generating 200 wads. We gotta stay power positive. Honestly, at this point, we probably should lock off that side of that building. Ah, the void provocation psychic ability can be used again. Fuck it, let's get blood rain going too. Good. We're stealing knowledge from everything. I really wish we could get to these things. Necrolith, Noctol, Twisted Obelisk, Chimera. Oh, Chimera's are tier two. Hmm. It's funny you think dead things are energy. Indeed. But are you an intellect of one? You are trying to understand the cosmos? Alex become overwhelmed with horrible visions. Yeah, I wonder why, buddy. What do you think could be causing that right now, as of this moment? I mean, our farms and fields are pretty much fine. Oh, wait. Their growth rate is 0%. Right. Because there's no light. 
Oh, Glad I had a lot of food to spare. Well, wait, there goes my field. Damn it! Are you telling me nothing I, I have here can grow without light? There's no way this catches stone on fire, right? Are we really out of steel? Holy shit, we're out of steel. Huh. Well, I can wait to smash the monoliths. I said I could I could go up to try to smash them. Okay. Gizzy, I'm gonna let you go unrestricted. But you promise me, Gizzy. You don't immediately try to kill yourself. Yeah, I turned mechs off. Cause they're boring. Oh, <gasps> well, there's a noctal attack. Like, huh, he just ran away from me. Yeah! I don't think I was supposed to be capturing Noctols. I think, uh, I don't think they quite accounted for me having the Giga named Precursor Blade held by Legolas in a previous age. Oh, fuck me. Wait, I can see the boomalope out there. They're not even phased. The fuck? Robin, weren't you wearing your goddamn armor, you piece of shit? Oh, he hit everything. No, he scratched your torso too. You got hit everywhere, buddy. The fuck happened? Oh, we're running low on medicine. Well, we captured a bunch of Noctals. We're giving them the suck. Paradox's attempts to revive Imperator. I don't think it's really their attempts so much as it is the community's attempts. Oh, you take your blade, run up here, stab that monolith. I 
And I think, like, Paradox is just sort of playing with it, like, alright, alright, this is what you guys want, okay. Contain. Oh god, another one? Damn it, that's what I was worried about. Don't you have the gun? Go get your gun, buddy. Just remove the mare, huh? Oh well. The Noctal has died on a holding platform. Ow. Gizzy, go capture it then. Hey guys, bandage up the shadow monstrosities. We can't let them bleed out. They're giving us a lot of sucking juice here. Technically, no one's dying, which is kind of interesting. I got that we were gonna get wiped out by now. I mean, we're getting good studying in here. Well, we're hoping Deep is gonna come back sometime soon. We're getting lots of suck. I mean, we're sucking a lot of their juices out, chat. And in combination to that, we are getting, let's see, we are 22 out of 30 to the next one. And let's see if we can make a ghoul out of Deep's body. Were we attacked? How come all the animals get to stay alive, but I get fucked? We're kinda starting to run- no, we still have 52 food, we're still fine. Okay, maybe we, uh... I mean, none of this is home area anymore, eh? When the destruction of the Noctil, the faint crack appears in the darkness before being filled with more of the sooty black. Destroy the remaining Noctilus to end the unnatural darkness. Oh, we got a shard from it. Shit. Oh, but the other one is like impossible, dude. This one's doable, though. Shards are how you use the Giga Powers, mind you.
Did why at this time is a fucking timber wolf deciding to mess with us? Of everything that could be messing with us, it's a goddamn timber wolf. And I will always... What do you think Yolgia thinks at this time, chat? And she's just sitting there like, uh... Hey guys, what what kind of base did you bring me to? Shit's kind of weird here. Hey guys. Guys? Guys, what kind of base is this? Where, where did you take me to? Guys? Are you fucking serious? That's why you have goddamn redundancies. Why didn't I have redundancies? Okay, so that's not good. Uh, none of this is home anymore, fellas. N in fact, none of, none of this, none of, none of this is home anymore. Yeah, we, we just lost about half our base there. Huh. Yologia is like, hey guys, what's that I keep hearing? Hey guys, hey guys, can I join you? Guys, can I join your team? Can I join your side now? I don't want to be, I don't want to be alone anymore. Guys. Okay, so one dim dumbass. Okay, my, my dreams of getting another shard are done, chat. We're only gonna be able to get one ghoul. Okay, you know what'll you know what'll cheer us up, chat? Dance party. Fiesta. Well, you know what? Fuck you guys. I did my best to keep spirits up. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, the power line did get cut, yes. The eclipse is ending. No, it, it surely, right? Okay, we got the ghoul infusion.
Oh, no, they have to be... No, you can't revive people. No, no, I'm seeing it. You can only revive ghouls that were already alive. Well, I do have one thing we could do, though. You know, it did say the unnatural darkness would end at some point. I mean, we don't exactly... Yeah, we don't exactly have the opportunity to move out there. It's a bit of an issue. There you go, the darkness is lifting. Easy. So, uh, the whole map is just gone. So that's a thing. Makes it easier to find the ship chunks, I suppose. So that's a positive. Yeah, it makes it look empty, doesn't it? Monolith is still there. It's just chilling. Just chilling. Let's see, animals, there are no animals left on the map. Oh no wait, that wildlife, no there is wildlife. Wildlife is returning. Let's say the wildlife. Okay, so uh, definitely gonna have to go hunting. Very unlikely to uh, make it through winter, so to speak. I got the music is you're like do 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 
do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do You can shell people with necromancer dust? That's funny. Am I hunting? I'm hunting a boom rat. Aren't you supposed to be a good shot? What, what's happening here? We would not have survived, chat, by the way, without eating the weird meat. I'm just saying. Honestly, I kind of agree. If we'd eaten deep, we needed the chance. Ghoul barbs. I know I'm. Uh... Metal blood. Cool plating. Huh. We don't generate much power from the monsters anymore. I think I want to let the world rebuild a tiny bit, chat. Smashed stump. I think we let the re world rebuild a small bit. Um, oh no, these guys are fine, chat. Look, they're totally fine. Well, multiple people are having dark visions now. I mean, so far, just wearing plate armor has basically negated all these people. Though they are starting to slice through the armor a bit. Juggernaut serum. Atmospheric heater. Study unnatural entities to advance this research. Build biofarad powered heaters that produce enough heat to warm an entire region. Okay. That certainly is interesting. Sounds interesting.
Really, buddy? Robin went into a mad rampage. Of course. Right in front of them. Yep. No, that, that makes sense right there. I mean, you didn't think it would be easy, did you? We have really good weapons. I mean, finding these Giga Plasma Swords from the Empire certainly gave us a bit of advantage, I'm gonna be honest. Are you in yet? No. We uh, mostly had to fight the evil darkness for a bit. We got lights everywhere though. Power is starting to run out. One of our uh, generators went down. When, when did that happen? Why not? Uh, well, the entire map got murdered. So we haven't really had the opportunity to recruit anyone new. We actually cannot get capybaras. If there were capybaras, they would long be dead. my cook again it's Robin oh we need to get up buddy gotta get the butchering pal I'm not I, I know where the capybars are uh, unfortunately we're being chased by evil shadow monsters and you know they're, they're kind of trying to murder us you can literally say the map is gone. They turned everything into darkness. They turned the world into darkness and uh, destroyed it all. Please stop feeding them raw meat and actually cook. What is wrong with you, buddy? That's just fucked up. Honestly, that's just fucked up. You literally just made her eat raw meat and now you're trying to recruit her. I mean, the fuck? The fuck? Remember when I had like unlimited food? Remember that chat? Those were the days. Those were the days. Okay, uh, 
Are we hunting everything we can? Oh no, wait, we're not. Let's see, you dropped your plasma rifle. Okay, maybe we should haul that back in. So it doesn't die. Though, to be honest, I'm starting to question if that plasma rifle is even worth it. Okay, the rice harvest is coming. We're pretty much good now. I'm pretty sure. Probably. Probably good. I think, okay, here's my actual opinion. I feel like the anomaly stuff is so much more interesting because it actually feels like you're playing a base and defending it and dealing with shit. And I feel like they made this having knowledge of the game. And I feel like the robots just distract so much from this that is actually kind of crazy. Like, the events and, and the things for this are so much more in tune with how the game uh, plays. Whereas the robots inevitably are just like, go fight really tough bot. Again, and again, and again. So, I don't know. This, this just feels much better to me. Like... I guess for some people, the, the theme could be off, maybe, right? They don't imagine this game as like a horror survival game. But I feel like this game plays much better as a horror survival game than as, like... Entire Last Steel says Mechanoids. It sucked! No offense, but the last DLC had a legitimate goddamn problem where, um, I feel, okay, I feel like it's weird that a unit called the Gore Hulk tries to kite away from you, but uh, the last DLC had a serious problem where by the time you could do any of the stuff it wanted you to do, um, you were already done with the game. Like, by the time you could raise your robot army and shit up... Like, I found... Like, the, the problem is, by the time you get to about here... Not here, here... You're pretty much done with the game. Because basically what happens is, by the time you can beat... The mechanoids, you're done. Holy shit. Okay, well, you guys need to go back. Alex got fucked up, but okay. I, uh, there's some issues with this game still. Overall, I would say this expansion is a massive increase in quality because it feels like it plays more with the actual game itself. Instead of just being mechanoids have arrived. Hope you have your pulse light rifle, right? Like I feel like it's it's a bunch of things that you can't just beat by by rushing up and, and grabbing a bunch of assault rifles. Right? The problem with the game is that like around here is where I found that the game kinda ended. But it definitely feels like this content scales harder because like you have to have a shitload of food stored 
to do some of these events, right? Like I had 50 plus like 800 uh, food stored up for that event, right? Like there's a lot of stuff. Um, and, and so you kind of need to be prepared and it kind of just makes it way more fun and interesting because you're actually building your base and like you, you're not just, I don't even know the right way to put it. You can't just play the game as you normally did. You have to like... be more than a one trick i guess is the right way to put it anyway i'm gonna be done for now i like it i like the expansion actually um so uh i'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye everybody have a great rest of your day